in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane Flying high, I emerge through the flames Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back Melanin, activate the name, it's super black In the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane Flying high, I emerge through the flames Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back Melanin, activate the name, it's super black uh, Imagine that, a future that's super black Long as your skin brown, your superpowers intact What would your powers be? Just hope it ain't super whack Spatial manipulation, create a portal that's black Maybe just super speed, time travel to run it back Or cheat manipulation to keep my spirit intact As I encounter evils the world face Demons the world makes, I needed the world to stay Rest in peace to Chad, what they killed all the Black Panthers Told us white lies, I still marvel at black answers Suits in D.C., pray it lead to a civil war It ain't no Justice League, what's the need to be civil for? Propel like the juggernaut, there ain't no stopping this The world in grave danger, who can stop the apocalypse? They killed all the heroes, the new ones don't really care But if you need me, put your fist up in the air Yeah, in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane Flying high, I emerge through the flames Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back Melanin, activate the name, it's super black In the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane Flying high, I emerge through the flames Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back Melanin, activate the name, it's super black Hey everybody, we are back! Season 11, we are here, Blurred's Eye View is in effect uh, Does it seem like we actually took a break? Because we were we were damn so busy. Uh, we had been making moves. We've been all over the place, and we've been seeing people shaking hands and kissing babies, and not shaking babies and kissing hands. Uh, but we're gonna start this thing off with. An, <laughs> I see Lady Mandalore's face already. She's like, man, that's about right. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna start this off with Lady Mandalore. <laughs> What's Hi. going on? Hi, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, it's, I'm exhausted. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't really. I'm looking. I'm like, it, oh man, we're back already. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, it, it, couple of weeks, but in those couple of weeks, we have been some busy bees. Uh, we've been busy. seeing them all. Man, look. Uh, Just not checkers, baby. Just not. Just checkers. not checkers. Exactly. Uh, the grill, the horror is in the building. <laughs> What it do? What it do? Sister. I'm living vicariously through all of y'all going to these cons. Look, we yeah, have let's been, go. Oh, yeah, everybody. We've been on the we've been on the tear. Uh, we got our very own cinematic assassin in the building. Really? Hey, listen, listen. Two things, real quick. One, uh -oh. I'm not home, but don't think I'm I'm sleeping on my collectible game ever. I I, I stay with that heat. And secondly, I thought I definitely thought you said we was um. Shaking ass and kissing babies. I was like, who who was doing that? Wait a minute. What did I miss? Talk to Laney and talk to <laughs> Well, I, I mean, mean, one of us took care of the other. I'm going to tell you, I wasn't nothing with no babies. <laughs> <laughs> and on that, it's see, every, every time we got Black Spartan in the building. <laughs> Hi, Will. <laughs> like, I, I have no words. <laughs> Obi also has no words. We we, oh, we literally have no words for what was just said in like the last yes, two minutes. Do. This is what we do. The people, so Spartan the people. The kids and babies. <laughs> Hi, Thermy. The people are in the building. <laughs> What's going on, Verb? Mm -hmm. uh, we also have our very own. Navy Montel. Ah, Navy, Navy Montel. Yeah. What up, people? What's Part going? of the crew. Hey. Hey. Part it's of the crew. Lady Mandalore. There we go. So, <laughs> I, I, have a, I have a question. I have a question. Yes, we've been busy. We've been doing our thing in the time that we were off. Yes. But what the hell is up with the clock app and these NPCs? Hey, <laughs> I've vacated the premises personally, so I don't know what you're talking about. I don't well, know. I'm going to tell you like this. I'm I don't sorry, the you're trying to reach is no longer in service. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, 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 I'm not mad at people that's trying to get the bag. But damn. Uh, where is your dignity? Uh, no. I, I don't understand. The internet it. doesn't have one. What are you talking about? <laughs> the internet has no dignity. That's a fact. <laughs> Does I'm, not I'm mad Should you be able to spell dignity? I mean, just you know, just D I G 
in the T. Oh, light skin French 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 letter D without French a, without a joke and a chuckle. So I know nice French enough. joint. She she her thing is it, it's I mean listen it's all weird, but like she looks like an NPC. I'm offended by the people that like jumped on the trend and like don't move like an NPC for real. I like see you mm. don't even you don't even appreciate the crack. What's up, T? What's good, baby? What's good? That's video I was at. I was like, nope, nope. This this is not this is not my internet. Nope. I'm try it. I'm try it. I look. Don't try it. Oh, we've got. We can't talk about. We can't talk about the road stories. All I asked here was for pictures. You kept the road stories to yourself. I just asked for pictures. It's uh, it's. Let's, let's put it like this. I've opened up the clock app and I've just scrolled and I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, what the hell? Oh my God. Oh, wait, I'm no, out. I still have I'm out. I still got the clock. <laughs> like, I still got I'm the out. clock. I forgot. Yeah, no, no, no. I know. Uh, oh, what is it? Um, oh my God. The ones with the Azimani <laughs> Basa or some yeah, is oh, yeah, is that what it is? Literally doing the yeah. oh yeah. Yeah. That sounds like you're coming off of anesthesia. That's what that sounds like. <laughs> well, that's my fiance about that when I said, what is this? This is about to get my hair. It's, it's <laughs> crazy. I'm, I'm just like, please don't let none of my people show up. Please don't let none of my people show up. <laughs> 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 now, you saw NPC Miles, though. It's going to be one. I, you know what? I seen the NPC Miles. That was funny. Mm-hmm. That was funny because oh, he was... So it was a gentleman on there. He was doing Miles Morales, but he was doing the NPC thing. And he was like, I guess on an elevator or something. Mm-hmm. And, I want to and show you something, all right? Yeah, and, and some dude, <laughs> <laughs> and some dude, and you get somebody off in the off the off camera said something to the effect of like, "Yo, he, don't do that," or whatever, whatever. He told him, "Don't he, stoop that low." Yeah, <laughs> Miles Ooh. went straight hood. Yeah. Oh, in a matter of seconds, and it oh, was yeah, that was Carol. What borough was he from? He was like, he was like, he was like, that's Brooklyn. That's 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 via Brooklyn. Like he's in the suburbs now, but that's <laughs> via Brooklyn. Cosplay <laughs> <laughs> ended. It did. He was just like, let me be a nerd in peace. He was like, let me be a nerd in peace. I'm like, yo, okay. No, nah, that's Brooklyn because he said, "Let me be a nerd in peace." If it was the Bronx, I'm like, "Listen, motherfucker, I know yeah. it would have okay, been a lot you. more. It would have been a lot okay. more." <laughs> that was that was the bright spot of mm-hmm. of all of that. Other than that, everything else I've seen, I'm, I've seen like it was some, some guy he painted himself green. Thank you for the glizzy. Thank you for the glizzy. I'm like, dude, why Negative. do you have a baby bonnet on your head Negative. and painted green? Absolutely. None of this is making sense right now. I never get that image out of my head. To me. That's what I heard. There are some right. things I just stay away from. That's why the beard is still white. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, at this rate, maybe at this rate, my hair is going to join your beard at this rate. My <laughs> friend, we shall start a fraternity. Yes. With the silver <laughs> hair. <laughs> the silver silver hair. <laughs> it, it was, it was, it was, I'm like, this is, this is. What the Imagine. like the, the bird is now the X? Uh, the, right. we have NPCs running the clock app. Uh, oh, I still got the bird, I refuse to update. <laughs> I do not have well, my automatically updated. I didn't even know it updated, so I just saw an X. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell is that? This is not Pornhub. This is not X video. It does look like I didn't Oh my gosh. And it how would you guys know what Pornhub It just looked like a random porn app that's on your phone. Don't make video X video joke. Let us know more. I don't know what don't even mention Pornhub. I can't even watch it in Virginia, so forget it. Oh, oh wait, wait, like, wait, wait. When you say it like that, you sound like there's some kind of law involved. Yeah, you, you got oh, up. you didn't hear. Okay, so <laughs> no, let me write this down real quick. Enlighten us. Most of these sites, adult sites, are supposed to have this age verification system in place. Well, Virginia says we can't decide on what we're going to do. So here's what everybody in Virginia, you can't watch Pornhub. As Pretty soon much. as you go to the site, they took one of the actresses and said, I'm sorry, you fools. You will not be able to put off. Right now. Good night. Virginia Good gonna succeed night. from the union again. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me let me jump off and go back to Indiana so I ain't gotta worry about that. <laughs> Y'all taxes are fitting to be real high, real <laughs> soon. That sounds like some Florida bullshit. Like that, I don't I didn't think that's I didn't think so either. I'm sort of going do 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 make, make VP you? and your friend. 
VPN is your best friend. I already Ooh. got it, and I'm watching Yo. Doctor Who from 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 the UK. So yes, <laughs> hey. it's it's definitely been a busy it's been a busy um, couple of weeks. Uh, as as if you were living under a rock, uh, the writers and the actors are still on strike, which mm-hmm. has pushed. And we've hey. said it before. Uh-huh. Everything's indefinite now. Everything. And if you thought that Miles Morales, that third installment was was the wait, oh, you're really gonna wait now. Oh yeah. Now's now the time to start watching the anime, books. y'all. That's all I gotta say. Just start Listen, watching anime. Exactly. <laughs> or so what? So we there was this thing that we called comics and anime and cartoons and YouTube. You can watch stuff. Going outside. Like go go, just go outside. Ooh, just get some grass. sun. Touch grass. <laughs> That's yeah. the grass. Touch it's nice. I watch, I watch it all outside then. How about that? <laughs> 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 now I'm going to talk. Now I'm going to talk. Lady, my dog. Let's uh, go. Oh, my God. So it's it's definitely, it's funny watching the news unfold about this whole thing with the strike and watching people say, oh, look at this. Like, uh, What's the latest movie they just dropped? Oh, Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion dropped last week. Listen. Didn't even I know. Did. <laughs> oh, so. I did. I didn't drop they're it. Just throwing right. They're throwing everything at the wall now. Yeah. And they, they're saying, oh, it didn't make this much money. I said, well, yeah, when you it don't promote it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you, you got a movie that's based off a of Disney ride, which is a, it's a haunted type of thing. Mm-hmm. You would expect that to be in October. Right. Yeah. You know, fair yeah. enough. That's one thing. Yeah. Push that back to October. You might fare better. No, they're paying. You got a nice cast. You might fare better. Two, mm-hmm. there's no promotion. You the, the actors can't None. promote it. <laughs> None. All you all you're banking off of at this point are trailers. And those are far and in between. And maybe yeah. influencers. Maybe. And, and, and maybe. Maybe. Yeah. So it's, it's just kind of crazy. It. Yeah, it's it's crazy that they're like, oh, what do we do? Hmm. Get up into the desert. There's, this is what we've we've dealt with this before, you know. Um, Stop worrying about that eighty million dollar golden parachute that you're trying to keep in your pocket, <sighs> and and let's get it out to the people so they can maybe make you work, make you more money, and they get paid, and they won't have to worry about being put out on the street and have to worry mm-hmm. about losing all their benefits. Mm. It drives yeah. me nuts. And have them say, "Well, what? I'm all for the good." You know, I'm gonna punch you in your good. How about that? And you know what? <laughs> Speaking of which, because you know, wow. because. Nate Montel was able to go out west to go to San Diego Comic Con, and he hooked up with our very own Tr- Tracy Carr. Uh, so we, yes, it's Blurred's Eye View West out that way. Oh you my know, gosh, she's yeah. so adorable and she's so short. It's like, oh my gosh. Hey, 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 I'm hey, sorry, hey, no, because no, 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 watch because because Kilala, I have you on one side, I have Tracy on the other side. Guess what? I am complete. <laughs> that sounded so dirty. Yep. <laughs> That's not like, right, wait. That wasn't Master Roshi in real life. Just oh, oh. short of the nosebleed. I think well, you know oh, that's not what he meant. Hmm. <laughs> we'll just tell him how it's not. Um <laughs> no, but it's 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 definitely been it's definitely been a, a, a quiet yeah stage mm-hmm. for, for films, for television, you name it. Yeah. Um, and, and you getting some spurts of information that comes out, like Ryan Reynolds is going to be doing uh, Biker Mice from Mars. Mm-hmm. Nice. Looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, uh, this week we do have the uh, Ninja Turtles dropped drops yeah. this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, I gotta watch that tomorrow. Wednesday. If if you want your heart wrenched out, go ahead and watch Disney Plus. And you can know, we get Silverhawks in the movie, please? Can we do Silverhawks? I'm, I'm actually kind of looking forward to see something like that. I would love to see nice. Silverhawks or Mass. Why is it those cartoons from the eighties had great soundtracks? Cocaine. Cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> and staking and cocaine, cocaine has made a comeback. I, I, I had to be curious to around. And being <laughs> synthesizer. <laughs> they was me, oh, yeah. You already know those cartoons back then came. They were animated in Japan. That was early anime, and a lot yeah. of people still think they're cartoons. No, the crispness, the sharpness of the animation, the detail. Right. Ain't nobody named Tom over here animating that. Okay. <laughs> Look, I still, <laughs> I can feel, and Tanahashi out there doing the damn thing. I can still <laughs> see Silverhawk's intro, and the way, like you said, Montel, that that Christmas, Christmas, crisp of the of when they like flying through the air and everything and transform you're just like yo this looks way 
and it's just the intro and the outros. It's mm-hmm. never the actual show. It's just the intros and the outros. Yeah, <laughs> it's just because it. look, even in the nineties, look at X Men, look at ninety X Men ninety seven. Chris, that intro and outro mm-hmm. flawless. No, 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 no. The animation isn't horrible, but you know it doesn't match. That man was going. That, that intro man, whoever, intro. whoever composed the X Men was going for a Grammy. Let's just be honest. <laughs> Cause like that time when you see Wolverine unsheath his claws, you and it's you see that bright light, you, you, you see that hear arc, the, yeah. You hear the yeah. shit. You just like mm. yeah, actually kind of kind of raw. Oh, by the way, Marvel, uh, y'all gotta <laughs> stop playing Scott Summers at this point. Um, <laughs> I've had a newfound respect for this man. What happened now? T- time out. Time out. So here's so here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are, you, are you talking about the Hellfire Gala or are you talking about the one you showed them? Or are you talking about the one you showed the group? Both. Both. Because oh. here's, oh. the, here's the thing. Yeah, no, they hitting them from all sides, man. <laughs> Scott, Scott, I get it. X-Men 97 made Scott Summers a bit of a chump. Mm-hmm. He's not really like that. Stick in the mud. Yeah, you mean mm-hmm. stick in the mud, always crying for Gene, whatever. Even even that little <laughs> an, even that little Marvel stop animation they did, it was just like, man, they really played this dude. Mm-hmm. Scott really do be for the smoke. Oh, facts. Oh, facts. Mm-hmm. You know, he got a little bit of that Phoenix nine nine. He's been all over. Yeah, he, he, he be done. when it when it's time to go to <laughs> war. He do be on it now. He, he just like yeah, you know what? What you not gonna do Tell is cross this I mean, threshold. He, he did mm-hmm. earn Wolverine's respect when he blew away that blew away half a planet. But yeah, right? you know, <laughs> like maybe I should talk nicer to this dude. <laughs> <laughs> just once you know, a week. It, it's just it's just, Jean's his kryptonite. That's mm-hmm. it. It other than that, like. Because you kept trying to figure out, like, how is it your son is such a badass? And, oh, that's where he gets it from. Because you are a bit of a badass, you mm-hmm. know? So it's... He just has Vegeta moments. You know, when he, Gene, he, when he, Gene gets struck down, that's the whole time he snaps. Yeah. I do like Black... Uh, shout out to Black Nerd Problems. <laughs> oh, my God. He's 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 funny. <laughs> that man is funny. wild. I've the seen conversations, I would love the, to chat with The him. conversations between Storm <laughs> and, and, and Scott are hilarious because it's just like it's almost like storm says you're not exactly invited to the barbecue but you're damn close Mm -hmm. because you know not to touch my hair you know it's one of those type of things (laughs) (laughs) you're right at the gate you're You're right right at the gate gate. give me the combo in in a little while hold on just don't mess up just don't just just don't mess up (laughs) He checks with her, you know. It's like, it's like they always like he checks you, with her. You this you this close to a take home plate. Don't mess right. it. <laughs> you want a paper or foam? We'll give you that choice. Want right. Paper or foam. Mm-hmm. So yeah, y'all stop. Y'all stop. Uh, really, Marvel, y'all need to stop doing the mutant so dirty. Jesus. Yo, hey, hey, can I? Hey, Chris, that can was I paradise. Play? Yeah. All they had to worry about was Mister Sinister. Good lord. Yeah. Yeah. Now no more Hellfire Gala. No more. <laughs> What the hell? What happened? That was Order sixty six, is what that yeah, was. It was. It was. It's the order. <laughs> what did I miss? Don't say that. Oh Orchid, wait, was it? Or- what is it? I saw about the Arichis or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Or- um, Orcus and Nimrod. Orcus, sorry. Orcus, yeah. Nimrod, Doctor Stasis, and Moira. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. Uh, you all. Oh, wait, what's going on with Moira? I saw her. Okay, oh, I need no, to catch up. She flipped. Up. She flipped. Oh, she flipped oh yeah, she did. Back. She she, she did straight back. gymnastics. Trust me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but it's, her it's, and Xavier were like in it to win it. Like, I had yeah. I from Moira mm-hmm. Taggart, and then she yes, just went. Ah! Oh, okay. She, she now you're left. I mean, she had a, they had a they had a full on monologue. Like you know, they told Professor X, "Look, I have taken everything you have built and destroyed it. I have led you. I have, I have forced you to lead your children to destruction. The only to sit there and watch you watch." I was like. That's a certain level of hatred. Yeah. <laughs> no that's name is some, I got a that's straight got razor in a mirror for you. That's yeah, what that yeah. sounds like. That's a I'm almost like, <laughs> like like that's literally almost literally right. reading that issue where she just turns and you're just like, damn, Ooh. really? Mm-hmm. And like I was Charles. Like, what's your middle name? Uatu. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, watching. See Charles break <laughs> to see him break and say, "I have failed my children." I'm like. You literally destroyed <laughs> yep. telepath. Yep. In a matter of ten pages. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, he yeah, has been, he's been, he's been, he's been fucking up for a while now. I mean, he's been, he been messing up for a while now. Come yeah, on. Yeah, Xavier, he's uh, he, he been on some, been some, that's why yeah. all of, that's why, that's why everything's been turning towards, towards Cy, uh, Cyclops. It's just Cyclops, like, yeah. yeah, he, but, and to be fair, Cyclops was a bit of a douche in AVX. I mean, yes, he, he was. He was, <laughs> oh my gosh, he had a master class. I saw, I read yeah, that. Well, I was, yeah, like, well, he what? was a douche. The actual AVX. hell is wrong with you. You touched Phoenix and you're acting like this. <laughs> but but <getting laughs> AVX that, was fun. What the, fact that, the fact that he disrespects Captain America the way he did. Yeah, I'm like, he's like, we don't Bro. wait to avenge our people. Like, I'm oh, like, I'm like, yeah. be. Yo, what the Love fuck? Of my God, what? <laughs> What what's going yeah. on? <laughs> God, what is going I, on? When he said that, and I was like, "Damn, Cap, um, that he's, was, that was he's not wrong." How how did how did, how did how did how did Falcon right say it? He was like, "He's disrespectful, but he's not he's wrong." Right. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not lying, but he's right. <laughs> and he's not even loud and wrong. He's he's quiet and right. Like mm-hmm. that's painful. <laughs> yeah, what like, makes me so sad is. What makes Thanks, so sad Steve. is Magneto's uh, words afterwards. Like they kind of went back and reflected on his words, where he sat there and said the greatest threat to to the X Men is 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 Professor Charles Xavier himself. And I was like, I, I hate saying. the foreshadowing on this. Uh, <laughs> but it was true anyway from the beginning. You beginning. saw Charles in his failings. He was trying to like, my, my children, we're ushering, we're gonna do the right thing. I'm going, bro. They're getting the shit beat out of him at every turn. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put this treehouse down here in Central Park and let every no. At least, with them. Don't you know, what? know. <laughs> right. At least the chief from the Doom Patrol did some shit. What is up with you? Right. Oh, yeah. Let's not do this again, damn. Charles. Omnipotent. Damn. <laughs> damn. Damn, Navy. That was that was that you had to say that. Sorry. Was that true. man had crazy Janie. He was dealing with it. Robot man, negative man, negative woman. Come on now. Let's go. Charles I got mean, everybody sitting there going, My children, we must I go mean, forth. And show him the human. I, 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 so, 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 I know, I know, somewhere, I know, Aurora somewhere was like, you know what? Not everybody needs to be saved. That's bad. <laughs> I'm gonna take my black ass. <laughs> <laughs> Stay right on Mars, and I'm. I, I'm, I'm if, if I'm not gonna go to Mars, I'm gonna go see T'Challa for a little something, something, and then come on back. <laughs> Let and, me see what <laughs> Manhattan's up to. <laughs> Yo, Doc, want to be on the moon? Come on. And and, and and <laughs> although in and speaking of Storm, I actually I I was I was always one to ship her and Black Panther, but seeing her progression, I, I just hated the way they wrote them. Mm-hmm. They're a power couple. Mm-hmm. Yeah, make them the power couple. But yeah. they never did that to him. You know, they always nerfed her. They, don't know they nerfed how. him, and it was they crazy. Don't know how? Taj Nisi Coast was the only one who got it as very as close as he did. Mm-hmm. And even then, they had restraints on him on how he wanted the characters portrayed, which was which was God, stupid. God forbid right. you have a powerful black couple in a in a in a nationally recognized comic. The Showing fact up that your main, some of your that, your stronger you know, characters. That's mm-hmm. that story arc where T'Challa, you know, he's out in deep space and he loses his memory and everything else, but he gains it back, mm-hmm. and he's going against. He's they're basically is Wakanda against the the, the intergalactic space of Wakanda. Yeah, and. They're like, well, what about Storm? And he says she can handle herself. And I'm like, dude, finally, you get it. You don't have to be there all the time. And she's shown, like, her middle name ain't Jean. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. you talk about me? <laughs> wow. Oh. I thought she. I thought I she do I look like the Do I look Not like the Power Ooh. Jean Grey was so, all the way in her house minding her business. Pop, pop, mm. caught strays through the window. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? That's for that planet you took out. That's what that's for. You still paying for that. You got to point though. Storm is always ready for the smoke. Yeah. yeah, yeah but, but see, and that's mm. the thing. They were like, it was such a foreshadow with, the, with that couple mm-hmm. because even at their wedding, you know, mm-hmm. you got a Watu showing up. They're like, every, like and even even every Marvel hero was there. And when mm-hmm. they see a Watu, they were just like, yo, is this thing? Grim, Ben Grimm was like, is this, is this something major? Uh, <laughs> we need to be fighting right now. <laughs> he was like, no, no, this is just a, a momentous occasion. 
Respect. And this is a major thing. I want to see it live, my guy. Right, I want to see it live. Like, I'm proud to no... watch behind the celestial veil every time. <laughs> there's right. no world-breaking event right here. It was like, this was just something I ain't missing. It's, you seen That's that not... dress? You know, so... It's not a black hole, is my head. Just let me know <laughs> so, it was, But the fact that they, <laughs> they, 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 they let that ball drop, mm-hmm. carrying that couple out, and they... You know, really dragged them down, and I'm like, I hated that they do it. Like I said, to he Ty Nisi Coach was probably the one that got it the closest, mm-hmm. especially bringing in the Orishis and everything else. That was great writing, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and what Jonathan Hickman did for the mutants, fantastic. And I just hated that there he was just like, and eh, now there's the fall of X. Wait, don't give me that kind of hope. <laughs> I mean, we just got they, here. I mean, <laughs> but the way they started off though. Damn. I had to stop reading because every time I turn around, it was a new X title. It's like, you know, Fall of X, Rise of X, you know, yeah, X of X. It's the, it was the, 90, it was the mean, 90s it was all over again. <laughs> X Blades, Executioners. How many ways can you do X? That's why I, st- I, st- I stuck oh, with oh, X-Men. I, I stuck with X-Men. That's another title, actually. Yeah. How many ways can you do X? <laughs> <laughs> I stuck with X-Men and X-Men Red, and I was just like, that's all I really need. I, uh, you know? um, yeah. I, 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 this ain't I'll gonna be the, the '90s all over again. I'm like, I stick to the independents. I'm, I'm good. I'm good with that. Speaking of independents, they are really making a lot of moves. Oh yes, mm-hmm. really like making a lot of moves. Yes. Uh, this isn't so much a review, but you know, San Diego. Like, okay, Navy Montreal went to San Diego Comic Con, mm-hmm. and you know, all the news just dropping. And, and from what I hear, because uh, Hell Spawn and Three Black Geeks were out there as well. Mm-hmm. You know, all the news I heard. Is just what we wanted to hear. It wasn't so much about the celebrities this year. It wasn't about the films. It wasn't about the TV shows. It was, it was straight fandom. Mm-hmm. And I've heard nothing but praises because it was like for the first time. Because how many times have we heard these bigger cons, these other counterparts of the cons? They always have the big names, big names. And don't get me wrong, we like to meet our you know big mm-hmm. name actors and whoever. No, we don't. But. It all depends. It all depends. Listen, look, I'm very happy I met Water Daddy. I, I will not take <laughs> that to me. So, but to, to finally see no like comment. your independent artists or your or, or your writers who's been on some of your favorite books and, and mm-hmm. get your stuff signed or oh, get yeah. something bought off of them, that's that helps them. That helps you because now you're getting fresh stories. You're getting mm-hmm. a fresh perspective on a lot of stuff. It's it's what Comic Con should be. It's more intimate. It's yeah, it's, it's, it's more, exactly it's more intimate. It, I see what you're saying. <clears throat> it, it's more intimate. It puts you. It puts it puts fans with the people they want to see mm-hmm. without yeah. the over leveling. Here's multi level advertisements and influencers <laughs> and celebrities and eventually you can do what you want. So, I mean, I see I, what you're saying on that. You know, and and piggybacking off of that, I I've gone to San Diego since '06. I've only missed a few times, and of course, oh. COVID came through, and 06 and 07, it genuinely felt like creators and and fans could come together and have that conversation, have that dialogue. And mm-hmm. it didn't feel like you were being pushed away. You know, when you get to 09, where you see the movie companies coming in and they're they're taking over Hall H and the lines outside have become legendary. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. anytime you see there's a sighting and you know someone's on the floor and it turns into a bird watching expedition. And that's mm-hmm. what always drove me crazy. This year... It felt more like it did from 06 because, mm-hmm. and a lot of people didn't know this, with the strike going on, a lot of the celebrities and people on Pacific Projects couldn't do panels. Mm-hmm. They had professional badges and they were walking around the floor. It was so dope. When I saw Frankie and I'm sitting there talking to Frankie and I said, he, I didn't even realize it was Nicholas Draper until he said, hi, my name is Nicholas. I was like, wait, Nicholas Draper? He says, yeah. I went, oh my God. And we just... We stood there for a good 30 minutes talking Mm. about his mindset with writing static and and Mm. what he's trying to do and everything, you know, meeting Rodney Barnes, who's who mark my words, Monarch is going to be the next motherfucking project out there because Mm. this comic is phenomenal next to Philadelphia. Yes, it's it's tasty. It's tasty. This man stood with me and he signed my stuff just as generous and kind and sweet and i said this is what's been missed 
from this entire thing with cons, I see the speculation and I see the, the thrill of meeting a, a celebrity, but guess what? It gets postured and then you miss the opportunity. And mm-hmm. yeah, and you, you this time it felt more personal. I felt like a kid going into the exhibit hall and everybody was getting it. All the love was spread from Hall A to Hall G. It was fantastic. And of course, if you got in a Hall H, yay, good for you. Um, <laughs> I was never big on Hall H anyway, because to me, that was just a spotlight stage for celebrities and projects and, and for the movie theaters to just, here, this is what we're going to do. That's great. But what about the regular guys who come maybe only get a Saturday, maybe only get a Friday? Yeah. You know, what are you doing for them? What one-on-one are you doing? I mean, I got to see, oh my goodness, I got to see so many of my friends and, and contemporaries. It was just wonderful. I felt like a comic fan. I mm-hmm. felt like I was meeting my friends again. I saw Keith Knight. Keith is a friend of mine. We chatted it up, got to talk to him. If y'all never chance to see his comic strips or his books, his stuff is phenomenal. Love Keith. Speaking but that's of, what it's all speaking about. Of, speaking of the creators, Chris Powell of Three Black Geeks, he said it's right. He said it best. He said being at SDCC this year felt so dialed in on the attendees that even caught the comic creators off guard. CJ, mm-hmm. that so man. it's it's it says a lot. I mean, it's kind of. Mm-hmm. You know, we dealt with COVID and that kind of knocked everything down a little bit. And now here we are at a situation where the strike, you know, yes, is it bad for certain venues? Of course. But then it has this other back end plus side to it. Mm -hmm. And it's it's just this like it's back to what it was built for, you know, for the fans, for comics, for games. I'm I'm, it's as. I've been. I'm supposed to go to supposed to go to um, New York Comic Con, and I. Do I'm, it. It's weird. No, no, no. I'm gonna. No, I'm going. Um, <laughs> She's no. not gonna let me upstage. She's like, you went to San Diego. I'm gonna go to New York. I don't care about y'all. No, 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 no. San Diego's big fish. You know that. Um, I'm torn because of the cons that we've we've been to. I, that's the energy that I want. I I really want this strike to go through October because. I like being. I'm. It's so terrible to to say, but no, but I agree. That's what I miss. I do miss being able to go. Mm, all right, origin story. I snuck into my very first New York Comic Con, um, and it was amazing. And I, 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 that, I kind of want that for another kid. People, I want yes. them to sneak in and be able to to have that mind blowing experience of. Number one, space, but number two, mm-hmm. oh my god, I've seen that. Per- I know that person's writing, I've seen that comic, I know that panel. Mm-hmm. I, I get that, co- mm-hmm. like, I want us to yeah. be able to be, uh, be attached to it again. And it, it's it, oh, the last couple, aside from them not being organized, I mean, it, it, it was trash. <laughs> it's been trash. <laughs> <laughs> aside from the disorganization, I'm sorry, I'm gonna laugh out loud. <laughs> Well, see, no, I, think, I mean, I no, think, it, they be a joke sometimes with the way they handle and stuff. Well, see, I think that's another issue that, that I've been hearing. You know, we've been to BlurCon, we've been to DreamCon, we've been to SDCC. You know, the crew is going to be at J1Con later this year. And I think the one thing we all can agree on is you can never really plan. You can say, okay, we might plan for 10000 no. but then you might no. get fifteen. Yep. No, forget it. You, you know, and any, like in yeah. the case of in the case of DreamCon. Mm-hmm. They probably didn't plan for twenty thousand, right? You, they definitely they, didn't plan pause, for twenty. Yeah. Pause. They they thought they had twenty thousand. They had twenty eight. Yeah. They had twenty eight thousand people. That's let's just say let's just say thirty grand, thirty thousand I mean, people were great, say great that. numbers, That's but you can't plan for that. You, you right? Can, you, you can no never plan. You can plan for that. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't matter how much staff you have. It's 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 damn near impossible. Mm-hmm. To plan for that extra couple thousand of people mm-hmm. coming in, yeah, you know, yeah. it's great on their end. It's it's a great thing. It's a great feeling because DreamCon is literally the way it's grown in the past what five years. It, yeah, dude, yeah. they showed us the numbers to go from six hundred in your first year to thirty thousand. Yeah, in five mm-hmm. years. That's you're insane. not you you doing something. You're doing something right. Just I mean, right. it's not just it's not just hype. It can't just be hype. Yes. Right, you know, you know um, we got we got our no <laughs> so, big brother. What's up, man? It was it was Hell the blackest Hell, SCC it, ever. Hell Spawn cosplay is that is, man was one of the men was one of the people. Um, 
<laughs> he puts a post up. <laughs> this is my guy. Hellspawn is my guy. He puts a post up, and I'm like, wait a minute, is that Kelly Hugh? And I'm like, hold on, dude. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Liflex. Liflex. Wow. <laughs> Ming, Ming not way one year. Mm-hmm. COVID hits another year. The year after that is Jay Cargill, not as Kelly Hugh. I'm like, dude, stop. Damn. The hum- humble, humble flex. I think, that was, in his, in his defense, I think it caught him off guard. I'm not gonna lie. Him off guard. He, he, had to stay, he had to sit there and have a reality check to himself. I will give him that. I would tell you for he's not wrong because SDCC this would had to be the blackest one because black folks show out. Mm-hmm. Black folks show out. Cosplays, appearances, just the whole mm-hmm. general vibe. You felt it, and it. I honestly, I didn't want it to end. Just give me another day. I would have loved that. Mm-hmm. So maybe CJ says uh, maybe they didn't plan for 20K, but you can kind of put things in place to mitigate some issues. He says there's someone that helped out at events like uh, EVO, EVO back in the day. Evo yeah, the Evo, day. yep. Yeah. So Evo huge Evo uh, has gaming, got the ass, gaming tournament. So I, I think it's, you know, and is it a learning process? Definitely. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Mm-hmm. You know. To, I was going to say to their credit, they they adjusted it on the fly with things that they could um, uh, at DreamCon. Um, th- did they need more security? <laughs> yeah, um, but not, <laughs> but but not because and and that's, and that's another thing. But, um, oh God, they be, between BlurredCon and DreamCon, not a, not a single altercation. And for DreamCon, that's directly from the cops on the ground. They Speaking said things, of which, nobody did. I'm going to read right. that right now. I'm glad you said that. Let me pull that up. You're welcome. Uh, so, it up. <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> here we go. Head tilt. Let's yeah, go. Let me put it. How did it get me up there? <laughs> See, I gotta, I gotta dump some of these pictures. I swear to God. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't. this is from yeah, this is from now. this is from the results of DreamCon. Uh, the Hilton police officer <laughs> said that this was the biggest event held at their hotel. <laughs> And said that all the blacks came together with oh. no fighting, oh. no drama. And I know what a lady, 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 let them talk. Let them talk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's how he said it. With, with no, with no drama, and it was as if it would, it would be all over TV. He then said, "This should hit TV and let everyone know that we can come together positively, uh, positively, and not break down stuff." I agree. Great right. job, RDC. He says. He says also they kept a count, and there were twenty eight thousand four hundred and eighteen people there. That's I, I know, lady. I know. It's a big number. That's it's a big number. That's what I, I said the same thing when I got no, Yeah, we all. Wait, what? We, it's we Texas. That's that's a step above it, 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 what it, it, they could be saying. Black, <laughs> they, them blacks the came blacks, together. I am not usually against them in their cosplays. But, yeah. but I will say I that know so many niggas could come together. And all those costumes. That's what they mean about them and their costume play that be getting me all kind of ruffled. You know, I don't understand that at all. Baby! So, our very own Tafari true. says uh, I, will plus say I, had to move. I never thought I'd see Starfire the way I saw her through that. I saw a different way. I had to go back and go tell the wife. I said, you know what? Maybe you need to try a casket and suit every now and then. <laughs> Yo, fast. Change your life. Uh, <laughs> Yo, T, fast. So our very own Tafari says, plus they had to move three venues in five years. Learning a new space on the fly ain't easy, and I need kind to be shown that same grace. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, if and when they move, if you're that upset, fill out a feedback card. Take that, now, that part. Yeah, you know, one of the great things about being in the position I am, I've been a part of BlurCon since day one. Next mm. year is our last contracted year at the Hyatt. Okay, so and I thought it was are, this year, but okay. No, mm-hmm. next year. And we are looking for another venue. Mm-hmm. But like he said, people got to understand, shifting from one venue to another, that is a challenge in itself. And still Hotels be able to provide... and fooding and everything. Yeah, everything. The, the, the logistics of that are going to be ridiculous. And I was curious as to how RDC was going to adjust to having a venue suited for the type of convention that they have. And I'm pleased that it worked out because I've heard nothing but good things about it. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. I mean, and and talking to BlurCon, this is my second year. I've always followed everybody that's gone there and everything else. This is how I met a, a lot of people. And yes, it was hot last year. 
this year, I don't know, it was like greenhouse effect. But <laughs> heat aside, <laughs> I had a blast. Yeah. That part I, you know, I just love seeing I just love seeing so many people. So many black people. That's, that's the thing I enjoy watching. I was living by Kerry. said it to me. You said it. Yeah. No, standing yeah, standing yeah, against black comedy against. and obvious. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So it really I, is. It's, it's just, well, you have to show them the same great. We, you know, we know, we know, we know people, con we know con chairs personally. Mm -hmm. This shit ain't easy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It is so stressful. At all. <laughs> no, I'm still tired from Blurry because. <laughs> For real, setting up and breaking down, and people, you, as you go as a Congo, where you know you're used to just popping in there, getting your badge, you're like, "Yay, fun!" We when it's over, you go home. Mm -hmm. You got to set up. I'm there a day before and a day after, y'all. We sit at that breakfast table at our meeting, and we look like we ain't slept all night. <laughs> mm. I mean, the setup. He haven't. There ain't no way you could. Yeah, you know, <laughs> tear downs, organization, and then security, then. I like I said, I was I people really, pulling I, out, people canceling, you mm -hmm. know. And, oh, we ain't gonna talk I mean, about that. A, that that is a <laughs> triple decker nightmare stress sandwich. We ain't gonna talk like, about people. I, far I says he says. Out. Also, I think the aliens. Which, by the way, we apparently have aliens, but you know that didn't matter to us. Yeah, keep, uh, keep Yeah, we just. <laughs> we do. Are you here to blow it up? No. Okay. Girl, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm throwing the Galaxy Green Book or Blacklisted, but go ahead. Right. Exactly. Brr. You know. So <laughs> he says. Also, I think the aliens heard us telling that they're the business because every creator's flight got delayed. This is true. I can't tell you how many delayed flights I heard about. Um, Thursday, so they had to hit the ground running on Friday, and the Carl Cleo duo was an alley oop from from God, which it was. Mm -hmm. Which we'll, we'll we'll show you some pieces of that in a little bit. Uh, it was. It's like we got aliens. Pl 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 if you take planning a wedding mm -mm. for tw imagine planning a wedding mm -hmm. for twenty thousand <laughs> no, no, no. people. No. And the only two people that you have to worry about being there are the groom and the bride. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> Pass. Girl. I don't want it. I don't want it. Look, when I, I, asked, don't want it. I told my wife, I said, you want to renew, renew your vows? She's like, I don't want all them people. I said, just you and me. I don't me. want... <laughs> Look, I, I can say this I can say this now because she ain't in the house. <laughs> you, better, you, better, you better whisper. I'm about no, to say... No, no I checked. I can the, no, the most important you. person is in my arm right now. She's half. She's halfway across town. If I knew a wedding had this much stuff in it, I would have went to Vegas. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. Don't you bless your heart. Not not one. That, 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 not, not, not to bless your heart. Not to bless your heart. It, it's an undertaking. <laughs> it definitely is an undertaking. I've done it twice. Mm. Uh, uh. And especially if you're doing it on your own and not like through somebody else doing it, it's undertaking. Mm. Yeah, I ain't we, realized. We were, we were at me and me. All of you? Oh my God. We could have had no, no, no Me and the wife were, me and, it was stressful, but me and the wife were lucky because the people we used to work with, they like, we called them the church mamas because they were just like, we need a DJ. We need, but we got it, baby. We got, I'm like, oh, my, huh? My nephew huh? does that. Huh? My like he does the, the guy, I can, I, it's a guy, it's a guy. My my wife's hairdresser. He was like a brother, and he stays in Atlanta now. Mm -hmm. And he was like, "Y'all need a DJ because our DJ, we had to change our date, so the DJ, you know, he had to drop out." Mm -hmm. He's like, "Say less. I got enough music on my on my computer. I will DJ. I will do the girls' hair." And it, I'm like, "Say yeah. less. Wait, who? He Say has, less. Wait, he still, wait. He said Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, he stays in Atlanta he, now. He free on weekends." He might be. I'll I'll book, wait, I'll book him now just in case. <laughs> <I'll fry some laughs> chicken. <laughs> they did everything. It's like, I, so I'm sort of like, we'll make the green beans. I'm like, well, fussy mama says she's making the green beans. It's gonna be all right. Uh, so we we got we lucked out. We we actually we lucked out, but okay. it was still stressful to know it. Mm. It was it was like if we didn't have that type of help, that would have been oh. Yeah, and now like, imagine it's a bunch of people that you don't know that yeah. just want to interact with other human beings mm, yeah, and it, get dressed up and eat. It's, it's <laughs> don't you do it, Will. She, she's watching. She yeah. watching. <laughs> you just oh. don't know. Oh, you just don't know. Yeah, it's, that is dope. Yeah, it's, it was... Oh. Something glorious. But it's heavy, too. We had, we had <laughs> oh, a lot of... 
Mm-hmm. We had a lot of high moments from all of these cons. Yeah. Every last one of them. Um, from our one-on-one intimate interview with Chris Summer, from our interview, uh, our quick excerpt for with Cleo Thomas. Shout out to Cleo Thomas because he won the video game tournament there at DreamCon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we got the chance to meet up with Carl and Love Jones. I never even thought about their last name being Jones now. Dude, until... we, it's so sweet. <laughs> it's, the they're so perfect. First thing together. I thought about. <laughs> it was, uh, it was so weird. Ridiculously. It's the blackest thing ever. Uh, I, love <laughs> I love him so much. Uh, <laughs> it, there were a lot of high moments. There were a lot of great moments. People who were really complaining. You seem to be complaining on one thing. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, if that's the one, like, I could complain about the heated blur kind, but I won't. Because everything else wow. overshadowed that. Yeah. Yeah. I really thought that was that, 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 that one woman, that, that one person that was complaining, I'm like, about some bros, like, yeah. girl, some bros, well, some bro, no, fa- no, uh, no she shade on some bros, but of all the things that are going on at that con, some bros mm-hmm. is what you gonna lie on the sword <laughs> she, for? She traveled several yeah, states. She, she went bros. just for that. Cause no. what y'all was doing, y'all seemed like y'all was having it up. Right. So I don't understand why she was just so laser focused on one thing. It was like, oh, the con is where the con was whack. I mean, Throw the whole thing. Is that, and, that's the one, and, and that's the one thing we can't afford to do. Is like, you know, hell spawn and myself. If you go to Blurred and Powerful, if you go to BlurredEyeView.org, we have a listing of mm-hmm. black owned cons that need to be mm-hmm. seen, that need to be mm-hmm. sh- have lights shown on them. Fact. And there's and the list is currently growing. Mm. No, nope. thank you. God. Know? <laughs> so it's no, like, no, like it's 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 good. Like thank yeah. literally, I'm thank happy. God. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's it's putting a spotlight on those cons and it's getting it out there. So yeah, yeah. it's a you know the, it may not be San Diego or NYC or you know it may not be Blurg, but these are cons that are you know small might be smaller events might be events J one con is one of those events mm-hmm. eleven years strong this November. Jason been killing it. That man is a hustler's hustler. Let me tell you, yeah. running that bad boy, and it's it's got such a strong reputation. So that mm-hmm. says something about organizational skills. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those people that say black folk can't run conventions, she. <sighs> I'm gonna keep my comments to myself. <laughs> if, if, if oh. it's to be done, black folk kick rocks do barefoot. That's all. I as, as magical as we are, you just gave us a spot. We give you a feast. Right. That part. That part, how many times people say, I don't think the, the faith theme is going to work out for BlairCon because, yeah. boy, we had wizards, we had mm-hmm. faith, we had, oh, we had it all rolling up in there. Everybody looked good. See, that's the, the, that's, that's, were amazing. that's the thing. It's just like, if you just, it's it, the whole thing is just opportunity, location, and people coming together. If you have all three of those things, magical shit happens. That part. Mm-hmm. And it did. It did. And, and we're going to start we're going to go to commercial break, but we're going to start with Blurred Con because we manifested something mm-hmm. as a collective. And boy, did it play in our favor in a way we didn't expect. Um, Chris, if you, if you smile any bigger, the camera's going to explode, bro. I'm, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> this camera can handle it. Or Kira. <laughs> this, this camera can handle it. Kira yeah, got, got the Miss America smile going. Just Look, that part. This so, oh, okay, so good. just for starters, you know, we always go to these things and we go in support of our other mutuals and creators, basically family. Yeah. Uh, and I went to to Montel's panel, you know, because I'm like, cool, I got time. I'm gonna hit up, hit Montel's panel. I sit up front. He comes up to me. He says, "I'm letting you know, um, I'm calling you up," and I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> I'm just like, okay. Wasn't expecting it, but all right. You know, and that's why my panel is the way it is. Come on now. I am always unexpected, but people want to come and be a part of the conversation and what you it do was. is relevant. What the and, and relevant. I can't remember. I said something and the lights went out. And I was just like, somebody's so I I I, re- I must have revealed a secret. Don't know what it was. <laughs> yeah, the lights went out of the room twice. It's like, what is that? But you know, I got a voice like Morgan Freeman, so I guess I'm speaking mm-hmm. like God. So I spoke anyway. <laughs> mm-hmm. And the frame was not able to handle all the black. I cannot believe you're going to sit there and say that the voice of God caused the lights to go out. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you were there. Oh my god, I wish what the you were hell? There. 
was it was, it was a moment. It was a, I can't remember, and it was the same room because that was our that was our room later for our panel. Mm-hmm. It was it was the same room, and Nix was in on that one. And it, and it, it was a switch, I guess, that he was up against, and he didn't know. And if you've ever seen that Homer Simpson gif where he's kind of going back into the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Nick's did. He was just like, I don't know. I doubt he did it on purpose. I'm sure he didn't. But he's like, he was he came in for support. He was checking us out. And next thing you know, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I'm like, all right. Fade to the back. Fade the back. But it was one of those things that we had a blast and and uh we actually aired it uh last week. Yeah, last mm-hmm. week. Mm-hmm. And has he was uh, here? He is. Far oh. is in the building. Hey, what up, right. Right. Yeah. Right. What is that? Famous, famous, yes. famous. Our our very own oh God, uh, media, media oh and show show handler, talent handler, and all that great stuff. This this, this the, the, the top tornado you know, himself. Show with your name would call the handler. You know, <laughs> cool. audience, audience handler. Audience handler. <laughs> He this was getting them together, free. boy. I was just like, oh, this feels good to allow somebody else to handle the other stuff that I can't do right now. Mm. It's, it's felt the good. I went through Dream Con like I went through Burger King. Just damn. Wow. Goodbye. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, shots fired. No, Ladies but it, it, it was, there was some <laughs> moments at Blur Con that really stood out for us. Uh, we had, we, our one of our very own Logan, who's Blurred's Eye Mini, I guess. Uh, oh, she baby Blurred's Eye, baby Blurred's Eye, <laughs> our very own cinematic assassin. His daughter won the kids' cosplays uh contest, yeah, uh, and did it in she, style too. Man. She came out with the Sailor Moon and with the pose, and I'm like, and hey. that, ladies and gentlemen, is showmanship. I was <laughs> <laughs> And then Steph Hype was telling somebody about her award earlier today. She's like, yeah, and, and she won this. Be. And she <laughs> proud. She proud. And she ah, ah, yeah, I won a cosplay she. contest. You know, I just did a pose and they just loved me. I didn't care. Oh my God. <laughs> and then, it wasn't even hard. Like, where are the nuggets? What? That's all I care about. <laughs> Bring on the nuggets. Again, again, I don't recognize that child that hit the stage. Last time <laughs> she shrank and disappeared. This time, I don't know that superstar child that hit the stage. <laughs> like, where's that, that kid? Oh, that's that's what what it we need was. money. That, we need money. Was a test run. I popped for the people. I popped for the people. <laughs> <Bruh. laughs> wow. She came that's all wrong. I got to say is, bro. Oh, my God. So, we're going to take a commercial break. And when we come back, you're going to see our Cree in- summer interview. And we're going to be talking about all of that. So, uh, here we go. Yeah. Welcome back to Fast Money, y'all. We getting ready to finish up the game here. Now your teammate done scored enough points. I think you just need to get one answer right to win. You ready? Ready. Okay, name a podcast. Blurred's Eye View. Who should have won that Oscar? Angela Bassett. Who did win the Oscar? Don't give a damn. Name a cartoon. Ed, Ed and Eddie. Name a guest from question one. Carl Jones. All right, that did it. Congratulations, you won the game. Hellspawn cosplay. Now we only need one name. Hieroglyphics. You can stop now. Josh Evans. Chase Bowling. Josh Brown. <laughs> he all cut more. the commercial. He's going to be Charlie out for a while. Blurred's Eye View. Be sure to peep the podcast on all platforms or stream every episode on Always Press Record TV. APR TV now downloadable on Amazon and Roku. APR TV, the power of podcasting in the palm of your hand. Get it today. Ah, 
This has been a ride for all of us. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. We know about your ex extensive voice collection. Yes, over 500 voices. 500 voices. Cute a lot flex. of people. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people don't talk about the impact you have from a different world as Winifred Brooks. Yes. Uh, there was recently an IG post through the Hillman, Hillman Files. Shout out to the Hillman Files. Shout out to the Hillman Files. And they mentioned if they did a revival of the show, yeah. where would all the characters be? And of course, they would be in these great positions, you being the director of the Law Division of Hillman. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. So yeah. your impact on Different World, it shows your affection for the cast and everything that Debbie Allen and the entire crew brought to them. Unbelievable. What does, it do, what does it do for you, knowing that it had this kind of impact? Oh, well, it blows my mind. I mean, I have people come up to me every day no exaggeration, no hyperbole. Every day someone says, I went to an HBCU because of you. Mm -hmm. And that, yeah! <laughs> I mean, what do you think? I mean, just imagine the impact of just having the awareness that you're responsible for expanding minds and evolving people. This is the highest honor. And also just that I was on a show that brought back so many incredible people old actors and great legends and icons that I was able to work alongside, Roscoe Lee Brown and Nina Horn and Josephine Vermees and the list, Richard Roundtree, the list goes on. So to be around people of that caliber was inspiring and life altering. To be on a show that was show run by a black woman, Susan Fales, directed by a black woman, Debbie Allen, and starring a black woman, Jasmine Guy. I mean, come on. Turns on your high beams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, because leading into my question, lovely. Okay. Um, because number five. <laughs> number five wants to know. I just love number five because everything in the first, the third person, right? Number five, thank you, looking good. Number five, appreciate the old me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I could do this all day. Anyway, um, I. Want to know because number five old. forgot my pre roll. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Number five was experimented with a little bit of the pre rolls for so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, number five smoked my fucking pre roll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my God. I want to know because you were around, you were around such oh iconic actors. Yes. It is. It's a lot. Hold on. Number oh, five is having a. Number five is having a heat stroke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you are right there with you. Yes. Um, you were around um, iconic actors um, that were part of the Black Renaissance themselves. Yeah. I feel like we are currently in the midst of having another one right now. Is number five saying I'm old? <laughs> <laughs> no, number okay. five is ahead of the curve. You hey, come on, number, number five. <laughs> You need this, motherfucker. No, no, number five is looking out for number one. Number one, one. is like a motherfucker. No, 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 the love is showing number five over here. Oh, God. <laughs> right. You're welcome, Dana. Where do you think we should be focusing our um, forces when it comes to sustaining this renaissance, to keep this going, to make sure that we have longevity past just this energy? We all have these, these talented people. Um, the people that are actually standing up for themselves and not backing down at the moment in media and entertainment, where do you, where do we need more structure or security or foundation to keep us safe as we go out here and try to expand? Well, of course, everything has to start at the grassroots level, right? We, we have to start at the grassroots. We have to start in our homes. We have to empower these children to know that the change you make it starts with yourself. The revolution is so much smaller than everybody realizes. The revolution is a change of mind, right? And 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 you know we can amass and we can march and we can fight, but the truth is we all have to be of one mind, mm. and that is where you know that's where we fall apart. And um, I think also we just have to start. We have to be more. We have to have more creatives. We have to have more children with the ambition to be in politics. We have to have, you know, we, the, the, the things that are flashing. We have to change what shines so that it's appealing. Because, you know, that's where it's at. 
you know, <laughs> yes, I right, work towards that. <laughs> <laughs> like that's my whole my whole thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, room full of words, which is I mean, a room full of words. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's heaven. It is. It's heaven. It's That's heaven. what's raining. You just That's walk around, and you walk around this con, and you know everybody understands, yep. right? You see this brother over here with elf ears, yes. this chick over here with wings. You know what I mean? And you're just like my people. Yes. Yes. We're all black. Yeah. Black bar. Yeah. It's our black bar. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um. That. That. Yeah. That's. Sorry, you just said everything that I'm like. This. this sounds all. <laughs> no, it's good. It's like, it's all right. <laughs> Absolutely fine. Um, that's what I, that's what my entire mindset has been towards and been going towards. So when you say that, it's very surreal. Yeah. Um, especially since you are the foundation of everything that has brought me to be here Aww. since Penny on the gadget. <laughs> you are you are my goddess. <laughs> You truly are the, 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 the <laughs> no, seriously. You are the, you know, being being building blurs out of you and seeing people like yourself yeah. and Bill Lamar and, yes. and these works and saying you are a part of a whole generation mm-hmm. that no one realizes. I'm like, oh, we know her from now. I'm like, oh, you didn't you didn't watch Inspector Gadget? That's you know? right. You know, That's you right. Didn't, you way there. way back. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so seeing you, you know, here, like honestly. You're the reason we decided we're doing this. We're coming Aww, here. Oh, I'm full force. And we're doing full force, and we're just and I said we're doing, we're doing kids next door. It's like it's it's enough of us. We can pull this off. Yes, <laughs> and you nailed it. <laughs> so you nailed it. Thank you. Da 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 da. You have a very interesting upbringing. Yes. And just sitting in on your interview yesterday, and I just said, I'm like, I love you. Because <laughs> um, you're so down earth. Thank you. You know, and you shoot, you shoot from the hip, you don't hold back anything. It's, it's, I don't. It's, it's, it can be quite dangerous. We love it. We love it. Nothing more dangerous. I'm just on Twitter, block, 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 <laughs> block, 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 block. By the way, fuck Twitter. Twice. Block, 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 block. Okay. So, if yeah. someone was to play here, yes. You know, and, and for a for a poor motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you get coming up to play you in? My goddaughter. Oh. So, Zoe Kravitz. Oh. Oh. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. She hit it. It was like right out the pocket. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's my baby. Like That's my baby. Before. She. Well, we talked about it actually because I'm writing a book about how I grew up, and we talked about making it into. Yeah. So. So when. <laughs> I tell you what, tell the pay, pay the writers their due. <laughs> we can get this on the road. Hey, I am serious. Yes, yes, yeah. I do. I am stuck for an absolute. I'm oh, gobsmacked. I'm really I love it. I got a shook. I say this. One. Sorry. Blurs out of you. Yeah. Would love to have you on a virtual p- p- podcast in the future. Okay. Uh, because. It would be a pleasure. I'd love like to do. Yeah, it'd be a pleasure. Once, once you see what we do, yeah, you're just like, yeah, those guys get. It. Okay, uh, I'm in. We, 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 energy, magic, energy on this. Okay, show. let's oh, do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm so. <laughs> I will be reaching out to you. Okay. Uh, Thank you for retweeting all of our tweets. Yeah, uh, my pleasure. <laughs> like we're in a group chat, fangirl and all. Like, and you're like, oh. this bitch retweeted me. At all. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we got it. Almost work worthy. Almost work worthy. So, like, oh my god. We know that you have a lot of projects coming up. Yes. Uh, we talked about your your past, your 500 life flex. I know you're. Uh, right. <laughs> oh. There's no way to say which is your favorite and how to say it. Sophie's choice. Yeah. Mm. Right? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Uh, Penny will always be special because that's how I started my career. I, I hate to be so ghetto, but I love the Foxy. <laughs> I, mean, I love the Foxy. I mean, it's just she's Foxy's the a irreverent. Foxy. I mean, it's just such a, she's a fucking mess. <laughs> but I love the Foxy. There's many ways to pay your rent. Um, <laughs> Is that time? time. Hold on. Uh, I love Foxy. I love uh, Susie Carmichael. I love Princess Keita. I love Elmira. <laughs> um, and I love Number Five. Yeah, there's so many. I mean, um, 
right now I'm doing the Patrick Star show and I play Patrick's mother bunny and I play Squidward's grandmother grandma tentacles and I love doing grandma tentacles she's just an old crotchety bitch <laughs> I love this character right now I'm having a great time Free song, not a thing. Yes. Go ahead, open those real thank eyes, you, Archie. Thank you, God bless the freaks. Yes. 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 Chris Fury with Blurs at you and Ruthful of Blurs and the rest of the squad, we will catch you really soon. Chow me, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to go take. That was a good one. I don't know. Here we are. There. And, 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 and it's creeping <laughs> out all the way around. It didn't wait, could it? it she got him. She's going to hit the line. She's going to hit the line. We, we it's a celebration. We, we're a celebration. <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, brownies. That is all. <laughs> so for that one, thank you for that moment. <laughs> I, I got to give it. I did it. Yeah. They're yeah. not children, you know. That was, a mess on the floor. No, 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 brownie. brownie. Kira has lost her balance already. <laughs> Here, let me help you focus. Cinema so, photography by Mayhem Media. So that, that, I'm sorry, Librium. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. So <laughs> we had that was kind of our was that our pinnacle moment? I don't know. I <laughs> it was it was the target we were shooting for, and we nailed it. Uh, <laughs> so. I mean, if y'all been paying attention to social media, you saw my jiggle dance after that interview. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so are we not, are we not so, playing that? Or is that, do they have to go to the channel? To get they the have full? to go. So tomorrow That's morning. That, that was a paywall channel. So tomorrow morning, the full the interview with the behind the scenes will be airing on the YouTube channel. Hit subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Show some love. Uh, tell a friend. Tell a friend. Tell your mama to tell her friend. And mm -hmm. uh, you'll be checking that out as well. Uh, but we have so much more that's gone down for us um that was just one of the marks uh last week if you've seen our live quote unquote live uh it was our first panel at BlurCon as well and mm -hmm. that and people loved us mm -hmm. had no doubt uh like, <laughs> I, I shouldn't be there i was helping run a convention oh I, that's I, <laughs> you're yeah. fine you we were literally you keeping the lights on, sir. Yeah, literally, literally. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, if someone told me years ago I was going to be part of running a convention, I'd be like, really? Am I holding the door open for everybody? <laughs> See, Pretty much. That and, everybody, yeah. that and everything else. Shout, and shout out to CJ because he was there as well. Uh, and he got to interview Karen Ashley and Nakia Burris with both the black girls, uh, they black, old yellow, yellow Power Ranger. As a matter of fact, this is how I knew. This is how I knew this blur con was special. Mm -hmm. I went to go pick up our passes. I get on the elevator because they say, "Oh, you got to go to this floor." And da -da -da. so I get on the elevator, and I'm on the phone, and I'm like, "Oh, I forgot. You really don't get service over." And it's me and it's one other woman, and it's someone behind me in the cosplay. And I look over to my right, and it was someone looking in their phone, and I'm like. Karen Ashley? Wait, I didn't realize which Power Ranger it was. Yeah. That's, that's my girl. Wait a minute. I just, okay. I, and I had to really, I was like zoning in and I, it was one of the moments I'm like, I didn't want to be rude. <sighs> but at the same time, and then that yeah, right when I was getting ready and right when I, right, right when it was happening because I was getting off and there was a bunch of people getting on, I was like, yo, and when she looked at I'm like, yo, I was on the elevator with Karen, Karen Ashley. Mm. <laughs> I, breathed, all, I, I breathed all, her air. I breathed her air. I, I it breathed was, her air. It all was I can say was breathe her air. Yeah, this is gonna be a this 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 con is gonna be different. Uh mm. and I wasn't I wasn't it was, wrong. It was carinified air, that's what it was. It was carinified, you know, because <laughs> Myself, oh, and I myself. I think it was several people, several brothers that had a had a crush on Karen Ashley. It was it, it was funny because she came to she came to San Diego and I knew uh, she was over. Um, uh, mm -hmm. She had a, a table towards the back, so I go by. I'm walking right behind her and I look and I go, 
Oh, so you following now from BlurCon? She turns around and go, "No, you following me? What is wrong with you?" And just, you just <laughs> talk to them. One of the most down to earth people ever with me, but she is a nut, y'all. Karen is an absolute <laughs> nut. All in all, all in all, it was a fantastic time. Mm. Uh, uh, this the thunderstorm was a foolish mess. Uh, that was oh. that fooled everybody. I was just like, oh, dark clouds, downpour. Might cool that down. Just, that was just Florida. Yeah. Following. Yeah. Sorry. Going one lies. panel came back out. We were just like the lies. It's worse. <laughs> Matter of fact, here's some more for you to think about. Right. <laughs> then it made everything stinky too. So that was our blur count. What was uh you know, so real quick, uh blur count experience, uh Lady Mandalore. It was first of all, that was my very first con out of town. Oh, yeah. oh. Obi, it's it's fun. No, I was excited too, boo. I did the same thing. <laughs> right. Yeah, I did the same thing. Um, it was my first con out of town. It was my first black con. I had no expectations, not to say I had low expectations, but I whenever I've gone to New York Comic Con, I always leave extra tense. I do not know why. I have no idea. That's my own issues, maybe, but Blurred Con was different. I, I have never felt more relaxed. I have never felt more... I felt like the white people do in this country. I did not have a care in this world. <clears throat> that is so true. That mo You know that That's moment so when Barack so Obama true. first got, in, it got in, inducted and we were just Ooh. like... <laughs> we could breathe a little bit. You could breathe a little bit. It feels nice. Yeah. I, like, I like this. I like the way this feels. I, I need more of this. I mean, you had that. You, you had the sail cook playing your head, like everything. Be all right. Yeah, yeah. All right. No, no, no. Y'all stay over there. We, we, we good right here. No, 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 no. Y'all, y'all good. Remember, remember, y'all didn't. Y'all don't like us, right? Y'all don't like right. us. We business. No, don't come over you here. Be, you don't want to sit at our table. Go get, get the fuck home. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, um, yeah, it was. I I implore, despite the fact that. We all know what happens when too many of us get into one room with the heat. I implore y'all to please come down to 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 BlurCon. It is a time. It is an experience to have. Whether you are a blurred or not, you. It is. It's family. It's still family, and everybody is so welcoming, and it, it's unmatched. Unmatched in my mind. Yeah, uh, agree. Agree on the horror, Laney. Um, this is my second BlurCon. Um, I've been to a couple of Comic Cons, NY Comic Cons, um, one Anime Con. Uh, I mean, I feel like Kira just really nailed everything I would have definitely said. Um, I went there by myself last year, just me and my daughter. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, I just wish I had other people to hang out with. So, like this year, I did. You know what I'm saying? Met with y'all for like actually being in person. Then also brought my homegirl, um, Ayana and her son. And um, her son's actually, it just was a blast. It, I didn't feel like the weird black girl. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Matter of fact, last year was the first time me and Lainey actually met. I was, I was, yes. at, a, I was at a booth and she said, Chris Fury? And I'm like, huh? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm like, we do not think I'm such a weirdo. Like, I know these people by TikTok or whatever, but I was like, I just wanted to say hello. <laughs> that was so helped me. And it was so weird because now she's part of the crew. Uh, <laughs> it was so great. It's like, my daughter loves your show. And I'm like, oh, God, which one did the baby watch? Uh, <laughs> one on IG when you would talk on IG. <laughs> okay. So, uh, the safe ones, the safe yeah. ones, the safe yeah. Ones. I because you know, it was yeah. me, candy, it was me, candy, B and DC then, and we were lord, we were reckless, uh, <laughs> yeah. On IG, yeah. <laughs> we were watch it become a letter and piss everybody off. Yeah, like, when I, when I, God. Here's, here's the thing when I say me, candy, B and DC were reckless, we literally went off on a tangent at some time ago on Scott Summers before I turned a new leaf. And <laughs> when, I said, okay. when I said tangent, I mean like almost half an hour. Half an hour, we were just throwing barbs. Mm. Oh, glorious Scott. times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Scott. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Scott. Uh, cinematic Assassin. What was uh, your take? I guess I've 
been to three cons now and haven't been as just a general attendee yet. I helped <laughs> load in at and Baltimore Comic Con. <laughs> uh, last year, I helped uh, Demetrius with the X-Men shoot, even though I was on crutches, because... I you still know. don't know how you did that. <laughs> or why? I like, was waiting for the video. To. Like, where is the video? Where That's the dedication man, to the man. mission. That's what's up. Dedication. Listen, to the that dude. He was I, like, I, you, I, he was I'm like you over there. Right. Over there. Stand if over I, there. I'm going to. I'm going right, to. Lainey, right, right. It's like, mm. hashtag <laughs> crippled captures. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and he turns off the microphone knowing good well. He was just squealing over there. <laughs> well, you but, hey, I know how you doing. No problem myself, so just in case. Hmm. This was um this was a lot of divine energy for me because um I guess sort of like was alluded to earlier. Uh this was this was manifested. Like Kira said something about what she would do if she met Cree Summer. I was like, no, when we beat Cree Summer. Mm -hmm. And then like a week later, we found out this was gonna be a blur con. And we were like, huh. Oh. Look at that. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> well, won't he do it? <laughs> Bast was shining the, down upon us. That coming together uh, after it, it, it almost didn't come together. And then they, they made sure to take care of us and make sure that it, it, it went down. And then my baby went in the damn competition because she just happened to bump into the kids <laughs> that was in the competition as well. Like, I'm bored. I don't want to do this anymore, Daddy. Just disappeared with, with my wife somewhere. Then, like, Oh, she's gonna be in the cosplay competition. Okay. <laughs> Violet's okay. mom is like, "Hey, you guys might want to stick around. She, she, she might have placed." All right, cool. Then she won the damn thing. Like, okay, let's just just keep this energy. More of this. More of this. Yes. <laughs> so you know, you know, you gotta you you know how to sew now, right? Because you know that's the next step. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely sewing her costume. Definitely mm -hmm. putting that so together. Get that portfolio so now. Ready. Some oh, hot. Some enough. hot. Yeah. Okay. The hot, oh, hot glue is uh, optional. I don't be surprised. If, don't be surprised if she pulls wants to do another Sailor Moon and she's like, "Dad, you need to be tuxedo mask or something." Don't. I mean, don't. that's a logical choice. Yeah. Do your own tuxedo I mean, mask. you can always play one of the Sailor Scouts. I don't know how you feel about wearing the skirt and, and high boots. I see that. Huh? <laughs> I see Sailor Venus. Damn. Come on, come that on. will truly be some of that. Oh, oh, as long as by the time comes around, I get rid of my brownies, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> we're good. <laughs> and see. Oh, I have got to figure out a way to put our stuff on the paywall so we can cut up. I swear. Not going on nobody's stage jiggling nothing. Oh, and Kira has killed the Put the bottle down. I I will I will not. I will not come back to this. Don't make me pull the Elmo voice on you now. Oh my god. Sirs. Sirs, plural. Um we'll point out the fact that Brown is off. Don't leave me. Come so, back. Bring the brownies with you. Come on. Oh my. Why can't you that we have on this line? You what what just is going? Where am I? Where so, am I? Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait, we, got so, a, we have a new idea for an infomercial. Yes, absolutely, you do yeah, not. Do. Do you absolutely do not. If I don't get my steak and cocaine, ain't nobody getting brownies. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a thing. I mean, kind so, of. Yeah. So, for, those, for some context, for those who are first time listening, hi. We do, <laughs> my, we, do, we do my commercials. I do my commercials from time to time. And oh, one man. of them that seems to really hit over well is Pop Starts. Um, oh. General Meals can't sue me. Uh, and <laughs> Lady Mandalore came up with the idea of like, you should do a steak and cocaine flavored pop start. And I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna spin the cocaine part, but okay. Uh, <laughs> so, it's the cocaine, it's the 80s. Come on, live a little. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Uh, Tafari, our very own co producer, talent manager, Magic. wrangler, uh, handler, handler. I, this man, this man, Mr. Make down. It Happen. Look, Mr. Mr. Make it happen. I'm, now, number one, let me give you the shout out because he went as Wallaby as part of our kids next door, uh, pan, or as our part of our kids next door cosplay group. 
and he had the orange hoodie, and I'm like, dude, I can't. Um, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> so the grill horse, she had a hoodie, she, but pretty soon she was like, "All right, Fury, I gotta come out of this." I'm like, "You, Mm-mm. I don't blame you. I <laughs> tried about ten pounds that weekend." Uh, so, what was your takeaway for from Blair Guy? I wish people would have asked me to take pictures with the hoodie on and stop waiting until I took it off. Be like, let's go. <laughs> I didn't put it back on downstairs like three different times, <laughs> but. That's kind of typical for cosplay. Why would you wait? Why would you wait till I took all this armor off? And then it was like it was like feathery underneath. So every time I took it off, my black tank top was just painted orange. My allergies were killing me. And, uh, I, didn't, I didn't expect us to have this coming from one. Wallaby is actually a failed cosplay from DreamCon last year. My three didn't. My number three didn't show up. And then I used to go on fan base. I used to just say stupid shit in Kira's audio rooms and then leave. And now here we are. Yay! So, I was just like, so oh. Ver- Verb has a good idea. Steak inside, cocaine topping. Boom, easy. All right, thank you for solving that problem. Uh- Boy, today we about to start our salt. Um, <laughs> that's not salt. Bring it up. But yeah, oh, we um. <laughs> It was nice to finally find my family. So it, it was. It was. Oh. Um, Lady Mandalore and 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 Geek by Heart had a moment when we first when we finally linked up, and that, it was a scene out of Color Purple. I shit you not. Um, <laughs> I, they squealed, and I'm like, with all the people in the in the lobby, <laughs> I not giving a damn. Yeah, <laughs> I think, we, I think Wait, everybody heard them. You and, ain't gonna keep my sister. <laughs> it was it was so out of luck. It was just like, what? And me and we were looking at each other, and we was like, oh, there's Lainey. Uh, <laughs> man. Oh, man. So it was it was definitely a thing. And and Montel, you, my good sir, uh, always held it down. Um, we like flex. We helped Cree Summer out that weekend as the weekend was closing out and we helped her her manager out and she was trying to get stuff done and i said i know a guy run around here hey Montel, got a question he helped us so you know we win we got people in the pockets we 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 make things we make things happen we make things happen man yeah uh Everybody's just oh in the right God. place at the right you time. You hired you hired this crew, shit getting done. I'm just saying. Uh <laughs> it's always a plan. It's yeah, always y'all had whoever y'all had in the ma- in the room, the what was it, the fellow Greek that lady met in uh the interview. Can we borrow her for DreamCon next year? Cause oh. I, these these handlers need some bass in their voice. They was too scared of the crowds. I was fighting people off with keyblades and tripods. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I try it was, to be as utility as I can. Mm. It was definitely a, a vibe. Definitely a vibe. Um, mm-hmm. Something we can always walk away with and, and say, we were, yeah, oh, we know exactly. what about. Tell them over. You talk to them. Talk to the nation. Exactly. I couldn't have put it better yeah. myself. Right. So moving on to the San Diego Comic Con, which our very own Navy Montel was able to attend. Uh, he went out as Master Yoshi and mm-hmm. as Master Roshi, and he did his thing and he met up with our very own Tracy Carr out there, who's actually helping in the strike efforts so shout mm-hmm. out to her for that mm-hmm. um th- this if you've seen uh you know it was a side show that we did for blurs and, and she was my co-host and when i say this sister is on the boots on the ground oh yeah boots on the ground oh, yeah. for, mm-hmm. for making causes happen and, you know and just putting things in in in, in perspective and making stuff happen it's beautiful and and maybe my tail got the chance to catch up with her tell us about that meeting tell us about San Diego comic-con the vibe we, we kind of touched on it a little bit seeing Tracy was actually accidental and I'll say because we were supposed to meet up but I had no idea when and where and I was actually leaving the convention or going into the the Hyatt next door and coming down the steps uh, she looks I can hear her say Oh, turn around and I see her in this in this rainbow shirt and I start walking to the steps and realize she wasn't getting any taller. I said, oh my goodness. Not the short jump. But when I tell you that energy, 
I was gonna say that concentrated energy will get you cut. Tons of talk about us like we like we little, sir. We'll find you, all of us. That's all right, no. I'm used to hiding. My name ain't Malali. Uh -oh. Meeting her was fantastic. I know she had just gotten there because she was supposed to have been there, I believe, early in the week, but because she was caught up in the um in the strike and doing everything for that she couldn't get mm -hmm. there until later in the weekend but it was nonetheless a, an amazing moment i got to take a couple pictures with her i met a boyfriend or sorry a partner and i looked at her how you doing pleasure to meet you he was tall oh his shadow had a shadow oh yeah his shadow had a shadow even what? the shadow was like mm, oh this him all right <laughs> okay. But it, we didn't get to talk very long because she had to go get her registration and I, you know, I had to go where I needed to go and I was hoping we would have hooked up. But the con itself, the energy was just, it felt pure. For the first time in years, it felt pure because geeks and nerds came together and we celebrated with the creators and the writers and the artists mm -hmm. and everyone who just wanted to ply their wares and everything it was so it felt so it felt so genuine for the first time and i've always said remove hollywood let this show do what it's supposed to do remove the hollywood element and i'm going to create a shirt san diego remove hollywood and there we go and that's what it's going to be um and like Dimitri said it was the blackest sdcc ever because folk was coming out left and right representing hither and yon everywhere and it was a reunion i'm talking man yo my con buddy was you know our, our girl kayash black that was uh, my con buddy the whole, almost the entire weekend she's like montel what you doing uh, i just got here meet me here and i meet her there and then we would just take off it was so incredible and mm -hmm. and it was it was and there was not any the best way i could put it is that the vibe was so natural that it didn't feel like a convention. It felt like just a gathering of people who enjoyed the same things. And there happened to be exhibit hall. There happened to be Hall H. There happened to be stuff going on in the in the uh, gas lamp, a uh, gas lamp district, and incredible. When I say you just and being able to meet people that create stuff that you love, it's always exciting. I said I want to meet Rodney Bar uh, Rodney Barnes. I got to meet him and talk to him. Um, I got to meet. Uh, Charisma, I can't remember Charisma's last name. She was Joe on the um on uh um uh Boba Fett and oh, uh, Mandalorian. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she was Thank Joe. So yeah. <laughs> so stand by because I told her that we would be interested in bringing her on. So we're gonna have someone from the show here. So I'm yeah. reaching out to her. Nice. Um, uh I will I am networking up out of everything. Don't get it twisted, okay? <laughs> Got to meet. Nicholas Draper, who which was a dream come true because him writing static was just absolutely phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Say what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have something to talk to him about. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what. Tell, tell him we would love to have him on the show as well. We are following <laughs> each other now, so I will reach out to him at my earliest convenience. Okay. Thank you. I have my my cash app is available. <laughs> Wait, I think me, I think me, and Lady Mandalore are gonna do an OnlyFans where we just whisper in the mic and just say things. <laughs> oh, that my, is my what? cash app is available. See, I, I oh my gosh, yeah, <laughs> yeah hundred dollars, just go breadcrumbs <laughs> and just right on here, something like that. I don't know. That, that, uh, that'd, that'd be seem, safe words. Seamless, seamless. My <laughs> My goal and my dream is to my, bring my safe word is pineapple juice. <laughs> what is exactly? Forget the pineapple. I know, exactly. Obi. My, my dream, my dream, one year is to bring the whole team to San Diego because I want all of y'all to experience what I have seen over and over and over. And I'm, I'm definitely rooting for the writers and the actors to get their thing. But honestly. The focus should be the way it was this year on everything else but Hollywood. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we, don't we don't go to the dark. Place. No clue whatsoever. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to pull a Kira. Hold on. 
<laughs> Not the dark place. Not it's the dark place. If you had a voice, you would have to match mine. All okay? that touches the shadow lands, we do not venture. <laughs> Precious. Oh, wow. Man. Oh, my God. Oh, my she God. She just scared to <laughs> Y'all, and I got I to gotta tell you this. Demetrius is a force to be reckoned with. If yes. y'all never seen mm-hmm. this young man in action, my man. That brother, I mean, I've already had love and respect for him before, but to see him on the ground when there's not a Hollywood presence and he is killing it, mm-hmm. killing it. If y'all are not supporting Blurred and Powerful, you are missing out on an entity that is out here making changes and moves. I'm telling you, me and y'all are missing out on this. Me and him talk extensively, and we always talk about taking that opportunity. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That that, that 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 window is always open, and people are not they're not tuned in when they see that happening. And it's like, no, there's an opportunity to snatch it. Don't wait for it to come to you. Snatch that son of a bitch and keep mm. moving. You know, Jafari is a perfect example. <laughs> Baby, Jafari. if y'all could have seen this black, I don't even black wizard go <laughs> in one place. <laughs> And popping up in a whole nother place, but bringing people with him and connecting. It was, I don't even know what to call it. It, it was, it. Magic. Witchcraft. Existential. Magic. <laughs> oh, Safari, magic. Safari, Safari had Cloud on one end, ran into uh, Cleo twice. Uh, Dude. So, yeah, so the elevator of all places. How you run into the same guy twice on the elevator? That's well, the thing. I don't know how. Like, I, 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 speaking of which, I want to show, we're honestly, talking to, we're, we're, we're talking to DreamCon now. And and it's funny that you mentioned that Black Spartan because I want to show this. Hey, Mr. Slick Living, just had an interview, bro. I really just want to do your flowers game because without knowing, we've only met. This is our second time. Yeah. You've been a powerful force and support people in my life in the last year. Okay. So first, I took a chance on my boy Ozzy. You're willing to give him some time. I've seen I've seen the art. I've seen the power line. Yes. Second day, that same day, my girl Desiree, who's been the biggest slick looking fan, couldn't make it. It was nice to have send her a video. Desiree actually made it this year. Third and fourth thing, my sister and my cousin were having a rough ass day. They said, let's go to Disney. Who's going to smile and take a photo at Animal Kingdom and I get a text? I wanted to thank you properly and as an OG Pokemon fan, you came in a little late and I couldn't let you miss the anniversary. Desiree, you can please get that man to my bag. So this is a collector's edition, limited, out of print, 25th anniversary chest. Open it on stream, use it as a lunch box. I just want you to have that for being used, man. Our uh, very own. Yes. Do the Lord's work. All right. Do, exactly. Doing the Lord's work. work. So if you watch it twice, I didn't realize Carl was standing behind me the entire time. <laughs> I, and I'm the one with the goddamn camera completely oblivious to all things around me. I'm like, what? Who? When did he get here? I, listen, oh, look. No, I got luckily, the shot. Luckily, I got he didn't the shot. Wander, <laughs> luckily, he didn't wander off. That was an alley from God itself because yeah. his flight, well, both of their flights got delayed. Mm-hmm. Um, they all had to hit the ground like behind schedule. My friend was wearing like his branded shirt, so she was. I was, I pulled his brother aside. I'm like, She's leaving tomorrow. If we can get him down here, it's cool. It's nice. Like, I'm gonna make one phone call, be right back. And then I turned around and he was there. And I'm like, I guess you remember me from last year, saw her. And then I was like, Just take the camera. I've had this like plan for months. You hold this bag, you stand over there. And then it saved us the trouble of introducing Action. Carl to my friend during our interview. Since I was like, since y'all are right here, follow me. <laughs> so that all worked out better than I expected. It's, uh, yeah, it was, that was, that was, that was really that's moment. another interview that'll be coming up shortly. Uh, that are another <laughs> intimate one on one with Carl and Love Jones that'll be coming up soon. Uh, look out, we will have Cleo on very soon. Uh, oh, wow, yay. We, we're making some, yay. um, Dream Con, is, speaking of Carl Jones. Talking about giving somebody flowers. This man was receiving flowers the entire weekend at DreamCon. As well deserved as he should. Uh, From Boondocks, Last OG, Black Dynamite, Freak Nick the Musical, 
Jesus Christ, this man has had his hands in everything. And he's been on the show before. Um, the stuff that he has planned with Bubble Goose Ballers, the stuff he has that he's done with We Are Martian B, with Martian Blueberry, and with Meg the Stallion, phenomenal work. Mm -hmm. um, they just won uh, what was it? They, a Webby. They won a Webby, Webby Award, you know, just this past year. They just won that Webby Award. He's truly a man of the people. Truly a man of people. And, and, and I, just watching the videos and seeing him getting the praise, you can tell that the man has, like, I, I never thought it would be like this. Mm -hmm. to, to get that kind he of still does. He still does. Yeah, to get that you know, kind of reception. Register, like he, it, it's, it's not. You can see. The, I don't know if we're gonna show the clip or not, but you can see the look on his face, and it, it's like, like who me? Still with all the stuff that he's done, it, mm. it's, it's, it's wild. It's wild. I'm, I'm gonna show. I'm gonna have the clip on the YouTube channel because it's just so much mm. to take in, and <laughs> and he ended it. <laughs> <laughs> Closing ceremony was because it, it. This is why I'm going, and we're, we got to go as a collective next year anyway. But <laughs> the way he ended that closing ceremony with booty butt cheeks, booty butt, booty, booty butt, booty butt, booty butt cheeks. <laughs> Asking all this magnificence. It was the fact oh. that he was trying to give a speech, and then they started chanting "Do the homie," and he was like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> um, there, there's definitely there was a lot of gems that came out of uh, DreamCon as well. Uh, our very own Lady Mandalore managed to run into our old friend of ours, Geeks and Girls. Words ah! here with Miss Mary of Geeks and Grubs. Love you, boo. Thank you so much. Ooh, Thank I can't wait. So oh my god, how was your con experience here at DreamCon? Oh my gosh, my con experience was amazing. I met so many interesting people, and then I had a bunch of people coming up telling me how much they love the content that I make, which really just made me want to make more. I was like, thank you so much, guys. I y'all didn't know, but like anytime someone tells me something about my page that they liked, it really just motivates me to do more. I'm like, yes, thank you. That is all you need. And like for me, this experience at DreamCon is nothing but inspiration and motivation to keep going. Absolutely. Um if you want to come next year, I advise you to start planning financially right now. Right now. Um it's just gonna get bigger. It, it it's be on time. Be on time. Be on time. Don't, it, don't, don't act like John, that. Like, come on. Come on. <clears throat> <laughs> what are you planning to do next? I know you've got a few pop-ups here. I do. Yes. So I, I have a few pop-ups. In September, I'm doing a Jujutsu Kaisen one that's going to be in San Antonio. And then I'm also going to be doing, I haven't figured out, I think it's going to be a Naruto one that I'm going to do in the Bay Area. And I'm teaming up with a place in Houston called Killer Noodle. And I don't know which anime we're going to choose, but I feel like I have a variety. I think you do. I think, like, at least... 30, 40 years worth of place. Yeah, you know, yeah. Cool. Um, oh, Jesus, Lord. What's your next cosplay? My next cosplay is going to be um, Ninetales. Mm -hmm. I want... Oh, I have to see that. Oh, that's going to be fun. Okay. It's going to be really good. Like, I have a wolf headdress and, and everything. Like, it's... Where do you get your... Swaggy cosplayer made it for me. That's a plug. He was just like, Mary, if you put the fur on it, I'll make it. And I was like, you a real one, Swaggy. <laughs> I, I, need, I need somebody to do that stuff for me. Because all I do is just some like fashion cosplay. I just throw some stuff together that look cute. You got to get a hold of Swaggy. Like, like, his build's legendary. Just on IG Swaggy Cosplayer. That's it. All right, IG Swaggy Cosplayer. That's a free plug, my guy. Look I me up. <laughs> I need help. Oh, my God. Um... Jesus, what what were some of the, did you go to any of the panels? I didn't go to any of the panels only because I was sleeping because I was up partying tonight. I went to the parties. The parties were several parties. And also the panel that was called the cookout, that one tricked me. I thought there was food. And no. I was like, why am I not a part of this panel? And I'm like, Ooh. oh, we're talking. We're chit chat. It's like the barbershop, but outside. Mm. Mm -hmm. So next year. Next year. You'll I be a guest. I would love to. I like applied to be one this year, but I think it was all like booked up sold yeah out. Well, we, we i'm a i'm a i'm gonna write a letter i'm gonna write you a strongly should. worded letter you, you should. Um, everybody write a letter okay please, and let please. them know like i can be a food vendor let's we, go we literally I can be a guest on the no, panel nothing but cardboard pizza and some noodles in this piece she makes noodles Bra like 
She makes pizza. All the she time. writes on cardboard. Ma'am, sister, sir, whoever's in charge, please. Lovely. Geek some grub, Miss Mary. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me, my oh, love. I love you so time. much. Oh, I can't wait to see you again. And come to New York. Absolutely. I'm trying to be there for um, New York Comic Con. <laughs> That's just a trying. We're working some things out. Okay, I'll be quiet. I'll be I'm quiet. Just like, I'll just... I knew if I go there, I can't just be there for like the three days. I'm like, I'm going to spend two weeks in New York. Yeah. Because I'm going to have to do some pop-ups over there. I need to see people. I was like, New York <gasps> is going to be its whole thing. Ooh. So somebody fly Mary out to let's go. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you about some places after we get off That's this be because there are places I think you should go and you would fit right the fuck in. Okay, cool. So Kira, Lady Mandalore, Blurred's Eye View, room full of blurs. <laughs> signing <laughs> off. Thank you for being here, Miss Mary. We will talk to y'all when we see y'all. Thank you. Bye. Bye. And that <laughs> was our very own Geeks and Grubs. Yeah, I, I say no Mary on Lady Mandalore had a little business. No one can do it like Kara. I said Kara and Mary, their energy. I swear, you just oh yeah, watch it was it was feeding, happened. it was feeding, <laughs> it was feeding. I loved it. Oh, I was loving every minute. I was I couldn't stop smiling. I was smiling at it. I'm like, look at this. I know, <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> and I it's want her minute. chicken wings. I'm just right. saying. <laughs> Put them on a show yeah. together, call it brownies and hot cinnamon. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Sir. That was the only thing. Yeah, the, the camera I'm hitting at the right is security coming and trying to like rush me out. I just had to hit him with the look and go. <laughs> <laughs> then he had some other dude, and I guess the only English he was taught was okay, gotta go, because he just kept saying that over and over. <laughs> I'm just like, no, uh, let's see this so thing. Like, no, no. The Man, cosplayer no, she shouted not. out, the cosplayer that Mary shouted out was Swaggy cosplayer, and yes, Swaggy yes. does Swaggy. not play around mm. with the cosplays. Oh he does God. not play around with the cosplays. He kills it every single time, and I swear, uh, actually, one of the uh, cosplay I seen him, it was the king of the playground from uh, Recess. Yes, and, and I'm like, I wonder if anybody caught on to that. And, you know, and I'm just like. Do we go to DreamCon as the kids from Recess now? It's enough of us. I have no <laughs> I don't know who I, I am. I am fucking <laughs> Spinelli. I, want <laughs> I wouldn't, I <laughs> wouldn't have it. said otherwise. <laughs> called it. Do not what care. I want Spinelli. Um, <laughs> right? <laughs> You know, the funny, the funny thing about Swaggy is um, I've known him for a few years and I was a fan of his and, you know, we became pretty much family and friends. And we're also Yu-Gi-Oh! rivals. We have this ongoing thing. <laughs> we have our cosplay duels at, at whatever con we're at. So he didn't come to he didn't come to Blurred, but at mm. Dragon Con, we hitting the table. He's bringing his deck. That man is determined to beat me. And I, I'm like... You can try, young man, but I assure you, it will not be an easy feat. Why do I see? Why is this all of my? It's a literal anime opening now. <laughs> Just you know, Navy. You know, Navy got, you know, Navy got stroke the close ups. <laughs> it's the close ups with the speed lines. <laughs> Navy gonna stroke the bed. So you have it. Yeah, yeah. I need this in my life. We need to make this. Oh my gosh, yo! Do we know who's going to drink on this year? Because I'm gonna be there. Uh, mm -hmm. Navy's going to Dragon Con. Yeah. Hey. I don't know if anybody else is going to Dragon Con. I know I'm not. It's my anniversary. There, there's, I can't pull that stuff. Yeah, you better not oh, show up. Yeah. You better not show up. Uh, that's not a good yeah. idea. they be like, how are you? You seen wow. Tyrone? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dead man walking. Dead man walking. The other me is back at home right now. <laughs> if y'all have never been a dragon, it's an experience in itself, man. That is one of my favorite conventions. Five and a half days of shenanigans. Oh, wow. Five? From Five. Wednesday to it's literally, Monday. It's literally I saw crazy. the schedule. I was like, oh, was it three? It's like three hotels, three intertwined hotels, five no, days. No, it's five. It's five. Oh, I don't know why. I thought it, was, it is five. Yeah, it's got the you got the plus Weston. the parade plus the yeah, parade. Yep, the parade on Peach Tree. Oh, that that parade. It's five days. Five yeah, days. because and people coming in on Wednesday to do registration, and then it officially starts Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday is the last day. God damn, oh, no, that's six. Yeah. Then just say six. Yeah, yeah. That's early on nah, Friday. Nah. Don't have that nah. much Hennigans in me. <laughs> Don't have that much money. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not even about money, though. Right now, me, me and Ben haven't seen each other in a while. But it's like, 
<laughs> Look, if I can survive going to Dragon Con, for this trip. any of y'all can. Don't do it. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. So nah, I don't have any family in the South like y'all do. Ass house. That's what we. That's what, what what, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We just need to like uh this is a safe house for blurred's eye view at this yeah. station. It's a yeah. safe house over here in San Diego, it's a safe house here in New York. Mm -hmm. Like, how y'all got all the, the same It'll mind? be the content house. It'll I'm be like, they'd be house. like, How do y'all have safe? I am Fury. I'm supposed to have safe houses. Here they are. <laughs> <laughs> I got cousins and uncles with couches. That's it. That's it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god. So Lord. it's safe to say that you know. Con season is definitely upon us. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We've all had like these high, great experiences, and to put the spotlight on black-owned conventions is a yes. must. Yes, it's a must. Mm -hmm. We got to um, mm -hmm. because they deserve so much. There's so much create. Cre there's so many creators out there, creatives that's that's putting in the good work. You know, Black Lions and Cubs is a great example. You know, uh, Akachi Co uh, Comics is another one. You know, uh, Greg Durham, he, good Lord, that dude, he's everywhere. Like, I swear to every time I turn around, I'm like, dude, you got another project? Jesus. Slow down. Marcus the Visual. Yeah, Marcus the Visual. <laughs> Ozzy the Virus. All of these guys are out there, all these ladies in <sighs> support. Mm -hmm. I, I can't put it any other way. If you know of any black owned conventions, hit us up. Hit hit us up on, on the IG channel. Give me in drop it, drop me in, drop a message to me. You know, mm -hmm. hit up uh, Demetrius over at Blurred and Powerful. Drop a message to him. We we share the trust me, we share the information. So <laughs> just it, it goes out. Go to blurredsavu.org. It's on that front page. Go to Blurred and Powerful. He has a section for, for black owned conventions. That list is definitely growing. And have fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's one of the it's 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 really and, and just like that Hilton person sat down and in, in for DreamCon, despite the wording, he, mm. he he's he's out of line, <sighs> but he's not wrong. <laughs> if you take that one word out of the whole yeah, sentence, it's all yeah. beautiful. It's all yeah, of it. It's exactly <laughs> you know, and, and you could tell just from the wording, it was just like other than that one word, <laughs> you felt that love, and you you know, the Negroes did all right. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's what he minds was it. But you know, but to hear that type of energy coming out saying we had a blast. Mm -hmm. You know, this like the young lady who was crying about the sun bros and everything. She's showing the crowd. When she showed that crowd, and I'm like, that crowd ain't shit. Mm -hmm. I'm like, did you see the anime crowd out in LA? That was bad. Mm. That's bad. I'm like, that's nothing. You know what? Like, Tell me you ain't been nowhere without telling me you ain't been nowhere. Yeah, three years in a row, they always they always put a picture. They always wait for Anime Expo and then take a picture of the lobby and put it in the Discord of DreamCon. It's like, and this is why we sell limited tickets. Right. Yeah. And then people was tweeting, it is now what three and a half times bigger than it was before. Do not mm. come out here spending money on a platinum ticket trying to meet one person. Pretty much. And then they followed up on the tweet. It was like, none of y'all listened to me, did you? <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Yeah, like, so where's bad. the after party? There's 15 of you. You are the after party. Go <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> wow. Okay, so Safari, you can you can back me up on this. Was it pretty much a one piece convention for DreamCon? <laughs> mm. Don't they you think, dare. Don't you dare. I, let the man I, speak. Let the man speak. I will have no affiliation with tells you, hush. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Ozzy Oz the virus. Um, but yeah, everybody basically pulled up with their pirate crews and was just having a grand old time. Like, my brother, my brother's like me. At one point, the, the exploration switch just turns on and we just stopped going in our room. This was his first road trip. This was his first time meeting, like, his whole Xbox crew, which... They're all taller than me, and no one plays football. <laughs> <laughs> like How? you talk about lollipop, you'll stand all five of them next to Kira, and then it's just <laughs> wow. <laughs> I go from five G to wow. one more. <laughs> oh my! Oh, my God. You, better, you better watch out when you see me. No, you. we were me and me. I see we, you. Me and Ozzy would joke at last. He's like, "Man, go have your villain. I'll find your pirate crew and bring him back." And I'm like, "Say less. <laughs> Look who I got with me this year." Yeah. So, Here is just like this at this point. 
So she she had to keep telling me to slow down because I was walking so damn fast. I'm like, okay, we met these people. Now I wonder about it. No, not like I was leaving you behind, but like you had to keep telling me because I was leaving the whole group. Oh, so I'm like, all right, shake hands with these people. Everybody come over here, shake hands with these people. Go shake hands with look, these people. Look, okay, you have a like minded person with you, Lady Mandalore. You Jesus. I see you. The power of Joy Boy. I see you, girl. Good. I'm with I'm with you. I'm with you, Tafari. I mean, I'm here. We're all my, ja- my jacket is still on the back of my chair. Damn it! I am well, a straw oh. hat. Sand, sand star. One piece. One piece is a cult. I will not change my mind about it. You are not wrong. I will. Oh no! With oh hand. no! What have we here? Oh, oh, oh the shame! Oh, the if shame! I could pick up, if I could I pick up my three scores right now instead of my child. <laughs> I don't know how I'm with you. I haven't either. One day I will. I am caught you up. You will never. Now you will I'm never going to cosplay it. as Uncle the Iris. Doors of One Piece <laughs> remain open for those that have not been initiated. I would say just this week's episode alone coming up is fun to watch just to see what the hype is about. If anybody feels like just taking a gander. Mm-hmm. Oh, the, bat- the battles are legendary. Come on. Right. I still got to watch the, the they come out with the prequel for Jujutsu Kaisen. I've been hearing nothing but good things mm. about that. So that I got to catch that Well, that I kind of like that they're crossing over because they've been reaching out to like smaller American and some black animators. So they're like, by the way, I did frames for this new episode. I'm like, they never talked to us. When? Why was this a secret? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, and I think that's something else. I actually read an article a few weeks ago where they were talking about how much it costs to do these battle scenes, and like mm-hmm. one piece is like top. Like so top the, the, the animation for Dragon Ball Super, they've done that for the whole arc of that yeah. was for a movie. They're doing this per episode. Yeah. And if you like, if you freeze some out. of the, if you freeze some of the fights, and this is how I know black people did this. Some of the frames have words written in them. So, like, when they beat one of the bad guys a couple weeks ago, somebody wrote smoking on that big mom pack in, like, one of the one-second frames. And I'm like, oh, my <laughs> goodness, we catch this. Who am Somebody black wrote this. Yeah, okay, I might, watch, I might watch that one. It's weird because it's, like, oh, it's, it's literally that's like a one-second okay. impact Where? frame, mm-hmm. which if you know animation, you know how quick that is. So the fact that so many black people was like, am I tripping or did I watch that back? And they all paused. It was like, nope, that's in there. I mean, there's some, I mean, there's some fire action scenes between them, Jujutsu Kaisen, Demon Slayer. They yeah, definitely did. The Slayer. animation studio <laughs> sat there and said, okay. No, uh, yeah. I don't know. No amount, no amount, no blank check. Cool. <laughs> yeah, Dream Con is the place where you bring your, your pirate crews, your Jujutsu Kaisen teams, your, your Sector Vs. Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon, 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 the Ed Boys was walking around. I was sad. Yeah, like, I've seen, I've like, I, I, I thought I seen one boa hang Hancock. It turns out I seen like three or four of them. And I'm like, mm-hmm. ah, okay, cool. All right. Now no, we're there good. was two girls when we went to see Demetrius for the um well his premiere for the King Vader video. Um, I walked outside trying to see what the, the crowd was, and there was two girls dressed as Futurama with the death by Snoop Snoop sign. Oh, Nurse somebody, Jay, Oh, yeah, that Nurse, was Nurse Jay, was, yeah. yeah Nurse somebody Jay, was, Jay, was Jay. actively Ooh. getting stepped on for a <laughs> and people were lining up for it. Well, I mean, it, it, I mean, it is death by Snoop it, Snoop. You start I mean, charging. Like the way you go. I mean, it's, it's up no, there with cosplay that's, work. That's what I see. That's what I see. <laughs> You don't want to start charging people. Oh, Lord. The amount of times I heard, okay, I'm going to take a photo, but I need you to step on me. I'm like, all right, I guess this is just normal. I I was was ready to take a picture. I didn't need you to put your heel on my back. Like, oh, hold up a second. We didn't discuss. We didn't discuss nothing. That's that. That's where that line. That's that line that you always say. I normally don't do this, but (laughs) anytime I hear about stuff like that, it just takes me back to anime NYC. Sorry, have you? Having flashback. Like, that I don't was need you just to step dumb. On me. I just, I was happy with a hug. I mean, you ain't got a hug, and we can stand right beside each other. But man, that is a stiletto. That is not. That is not a. That is not a. Uh, <laughs> Despite the heat, I'm just glad everybody remembered hygiene because. Just smells Maybe. like joy. Yo, shout and out to there. shout out to our sponsor, Ultimate Wireless, Damon Davis. He had not only did he have his station set up at BlurCon, yeah, but that he had was toiletries dope. lined up with mm. various choices of deodorant and toiletries. That table was personal dope. hygiene emphasis. 
And I'm like, yeah, he's doing the Lord's work. That is the Lord's work, right? There. He he said it just like that. He was like, "Hey, I'm just out here doing the Lord's work." Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm like, and it worked. It worked. You know. Um, shout out to Head Nerds in Charge. I had ran into Kurt like twice. Our weekend at BlurCon, and I'm like, I said, "Dude, what'd you do? Stay in a room in the AC the whole weekend?" It was just he like, did because he came hey. into the panel with you and me. He came in, he's like, and yep. walked out. I said. <laughs> He right. did his he did his walk around. Then when I seen him again, him, Gina, and I can't remember who else was with him. They had just got out the pool and we was giving love. I was like, I was hugging them all. And they were like, Well, we wet. And I said, I don't care. It's hot. I don't just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, was any kind of moisture helps right now. Yeah. It was just like it ain't sweat. I know it's cold, it's just it's water. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh before we get out of here, uh, we still got cons to go. We got Dragon Con, we got J1 Con, we got NYCC coming up. Uh, and I'll put uh, um, Pax Unplugged on there too. Yeah. I it, did it, apply it, for my uh, my media badge for Pax Unplugged. So. Pax Unplugged, okay. So it's, it's just a lot. But it's good mm-hmm. because we told you guys, we told you guys in season 10, we ain't done. We are far from done. You will be seeing this crew Live and in person, mm-hmm. like Voltron, and we come together, and shut shit down, and separate and go do what we got to do. It's not like the Avengers, you know. We don't. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a quote. I'm a quote. Scott Summers. We don't wait to avenge <laughs> our people. <laughs> Still a cold ass line. I like Cap, and I'm like, damn Cap, he shut your ass down on that one. Arr. I'm over here with the mutants for a while. <laughs> He had the shield and mule there and handed him all the ass. <laughs> all the black, black, even Black Panther was like, mm, that was burn. Yeah, burn. Was burn. Bank on it. burn. <laughs> when he walks off, it's just uh, no response. I, I gave him a shield. What was I thinking? Uh. <laughs> you know, he was more like, wouldn't have been me. Uh. <laughs> I would have ran the fade on after that one. That 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 deserved a punch. <laughs> he was like, "Look, he was like, didn't you fight your wife?" He was like, "Yeah, it really wasn't a fight. We were just kind of sparring. That's all it was." Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> so, without further ado, it's been a while since I've done this. Uh, okay. Here we go. All right. What's up? Oh, all right, okay, let's do it. Well, yeah, really. <laughs> We're changing it up a little bit because you know I was, waiting, I was waiting for Kira to slip up. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I was no. Show, I was waiting for Kira to, Kira to slip up, but uh, oh, yeah. I guess I'm first. So with that yeah. being said, uh, Black Spartan, of course, Black Fox Four Four Seven is where you can find me on all the socials. I usually do reviews and everything that I read, that I watch, that I play in gym stuff because I've apparently oh. I've uh, offended. Two Everybody. groups now? Everybody. Two groups now? Perhaps. We're going three. My hero. Uh, <laughs> I, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the third. I'm sure it's third group is coming. But anyway, as Obi's trying to get Perhaps. the shot. But um, <laughs> uh, but aside from that, I do have a couple of podcasts, guys. Of course, uh, my political podcast, uh, How the Frank We Got Here, every Wednesday and Saturday. Uh, my video game podcast, Get Bit, every Friday. All uh, Basically, all podcasts can be seen wherever you get or hear your podcast from. That is including Opulence Radio and Always Record TV. Also, I am one of the many heads of the Blurs. Uh, Blurs be there. Damn it, I just talked about you. That's Baby Brown. That's Baby Brown. Where is the WrestleMania.org website? As I do write the wrestling column. Why? Because wrestling is real and people are fake. And it was a kind of a disappointing week for wrestling, but that's a whole other story. Um, aside from that, guys, I usually sit there and say that we need to be more about sharing, as we have said throughout this podcast. If you know somebody that's doing something, where it's a podcast, whether it's a business, where it's something that's completely and utterly different, Please share it. It costs next to nothing in sharing anything. We are not talking donations. We are talking social media, word of mouth, because as you can plainly see, the more podcasts, the more podcasts and more cons that we talk about, the more people don't know about them, the more we can actually get things like what happened at BlurCon and DreamCon to happen, which is great seeing a whole bunch of us literally have fun. Nobody act a fool. And even make some white people look. You make some white people look at them and go, you know what? Maybe you blacks ain't that bad after all. Uh, you know, you know, uh, <laughs> but um, 
Uh, oh, yes. And like and like Chris said, con rules are simple. Same as always, guys. Number one, respect all cosplayers. That means that they are not there for your personal enjoyment. They are not your personal F toy. Again, these are people that have put their heart and soul into costumes and cosplays. And it's a it takes a brave, brave person to go out into the world to show off what their fandom is. So, again, respect all cosplayers. Please be nice. Nine times out of ten, if you, if you are nice, you might actually get what you want within, rather, within reason. And as uh, Tafari did point out, thank God that at a black con, there was no funk. Imagine at a black con, there's no funk at all. Wash your ass. Choice. It's that simple. Except um, music. In this heat? Yeah. In, in, in heat. Which, again, I'm not I trying to make fun of you. three degrees. Them. Yeah, I'm not trying to make fun of you. This what Martin was marching in. But come on. Dial soap is still $1.50 at, at most convenience <laughs> stores. But anyway, wash your ass. Uh, wash your ass. Put deodorant on. And number three, enjoy and yourself. Back. Enjoy yourself. Take somebody that's never been to a con or at least tell them about it because as you can plainly see the more people we bring to this the bigger these small cons become and again in the words of Issa Rae I am rooting for everybody black Amen Our mm. mm. horror is up Why are you happy we well, going right after well yo that was a mic drop right there no, <laughs> I know. I could never win. No. <laughs> Again, I was ready for Kira to slip up. That's usually my go-to. Mm -mm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right, so y'all. I am Lainey. I am Lainey, part of yeah. Geek by Heart. Me and my husband talk about a lot of geek stuff. Right now, he's actually starting to uh, play God of War 3 and streaming it on YouTube on Saturdays and Sundays. So check out our channel for that as well. Okay. Check nice. out our channel for reviews and um, trailer drops. And check out blurredseyeview.org for when I talk about horror because I love horror. All right. You can find us at TikTok. You can find us on IG. And just come through and have some good times. It is. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for the exorcist. I'm not going to lie. That look pretty damn good yeah mm -hmm. yes that oh, looked fire i was like yo <laughs> yes. oh my god is that lady mandalore oh my god, god. is that the oh, fire TV? No, oh, the my photo god. shoots and interviews and getting pulled aside and stuff and she cleared the room the people I, I went to the bathroom for like 30 seconds i come back and she's doing a whole slytherin photo shoot on like the second floor shut up yes, yes. <laughs> wait did she clean her room did man not continue to be fired <laughs> that was strange. Yeah, yeah only because they're gonna get some. Okay, so Lady Mandalore, the as the as, so I'm gonna Lady let y'all notice. As captain of the ship, you have full range to. Oh yeah. Just, oh no, bullets will be hole. shot. Just hit the mark. Don't hurt the no. hole of the ship. We gotta fly mm -hmm. this thing. Maybe ship is about to be split. <laughs> Wings will be split appropriately. Oh my how, how, anyway. does, how does how does how does say? Oh yes, nice. <laughs> 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 is known um hi um yeah i did clean my room after being on the road for what felt like a month yeah my room's clean um i am lady mandalore you can find me on instagram as room full of blurs as you see below there you can also find me on tiktok as child of mandalore because i am that child of Mandalore. Um, you can also find me on Fanbase, um, where I will be talking to the masses that would like to come to my audio room at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time this coming Saturday, because it's what? The first Saturday of the month. Um, Ooh, I <laughs> also yeah, have... Buy, it is this month. Mm -hmm. I also have... Uh, I guess it's a double header. I will also be doing my Sunday... Sunday at 9 p.m. live streaming show of Roomful of Blurds on TikTok and on Twitch. Um, come through for that. I am planning on having Midnight Comics come through as my guest, as they were doing on yes. very much so. Um, yeah, um, everybody, this weekend has this weekend has taught me that we are the bag. We are truly the bag, and I'm gonna start to promote us that way so i think my i'm working on a catchphrase where it's basically know that you're the bag know that you that? you are the thing look, all right I, look that closing Dang. ceremony from DreamCon when rdc says uh yeah we're working on a movie with jordan peele i'm like Nigga. 
What? <laughs> that, that dude wasted no time. <laughs> None at all. At I can't all. blame him on that one. I'm like, if there's anything to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Last year they left DreamCon and went to the Note premiere, and they had to do mm-hmm. interviews like fresh off the plane. And he was like, "You good, man? You family?" I'm like, "I thought that was gonna be two years, not like a full 365 down the line." Man. Yeah, no, they no Hollywood don't play. They they want their money today. So <laughs> if that teaches y'all anything out there, go for it. Strike while the iron is hot. Someone is looking for you and your idea and your approach to it. You do not know who was looking for it. Shoot your shot. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. Mm-hmm. Okay, bye. Our very own Master Roshi, Navy Montel's in the building. Talk to the people. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, blurs of all ages, good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Once again, it is your frosty bearded blur of corn, a little dry because I've been traveling, so there's no moisture or anything like that. I am so honored to be a part of this a massive collective of amazing, brilliant, beautiful, and creative minds here at Blur's Eye View. I'm just proud to be a part of the team. If you can support a black owned event, convention, venture, anything like that, you want to do it because you do not want to miss out because people are realizing that they haven't already that mm-hmm. black folks are running this train and y'all are copying the ride. So guess what? You can you can get on, you can get off. The choice is yours. Anyway, I'm gonna <laughs> continue to do what I do. I do my IG show, Blur the Corn Combos. I'll be coming back uh next week. With a surprise guest, I'm not telling the money just yet because I do it 24 hours prior. So many people kind of go, ah, just like Kira would do for me. Miss yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> Angie and I will be back this Sunday to record our. We're off a hiatus for a blur, uh, 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 blur to Core Speaks podcast, and I'm looking forward to it because we're going to talk about everything that's transpired over the past month. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, tw- uh, X. Can you call it Twitter anymore? It's just. It's just a letter. Yeah, it's Ten, a thing that X. Elon won't quit touching. That that they, okay. they had to they had oh. to take the sign down though. They did have yeah, to like okay. accidentally so almost. How about this? You can find me on Instagram, miscellaneous. <laughs> under, <laughs> under Navy Montel. You can find me oh. on TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube under Rogue Catnip. I will be doing a review of Blurred and of San Diego Comic Con and my thoughts on upcoming conventions. Um <laughs> Anybody and and that amazing that that voice right there that's the future right there. So what we doing now is for that amazing baby right there. Oh yeah, so mm-hmm. we gonna keep doing the thing. So as I always say, stay nerdy, stay geeky, stay sexy, and of course, be proud mm-hmm. in your blurt. Mm-hmm. Uh, Obi's gonna be the one where you know the ones that's coming up behind us. We're gonna be like, <laughs> the, we're gonna be the hooded figures and be gifting things from just like. I'm like, what is all this? <laughs> your, your it's time. amazing. It is, it is like amazing how many times y'all have said his name that he is over here just talking up a storm. <laughs> <laughs> One of the crew. <laughs> He'll be going exactly. There you go. Yeah, exactly. He's, like, he's just like, what is all this? Your time is coming. The Father. The thing. Father, please put me on, Father. I would like to support the dive you, Father. Please. <laughs> You are the chosen It's going to be like those. Ones. <laughs> 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 you must choose the ball or the sword, but you must choose <laughs> Oh, I can't wait till he starts crawling for his Pokemon thing to happen. I'm, 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 I'm oh, Father, is that gin in my bottle? Oh, my gosh. It's got a nice kick to it. It does. Thank you, dear father. I'm going to sleep now. <laughs> there, are no wrong, there, are no wrong answers, there are no wrong answers in the force. There you go. <laughs> oh man, our cinematic assassin will be watching. Talk to the people. Hey, what's, what's funny is in my head, Canon, uh, Obi sounds like Juicy from the PJs. <laughs> <laughs> Obi agrees. <laughs> oh my god. But oh, on that uh, on that note, um, and with a straight face, <laughs> you fucking wild man. We'll be watching the the cinematic assassin, the the frugal Funko hunter, the 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 box office bully of Baltimore. Um, oh my god! You can find me at Mayhem Media at all of the things. It's Y H E M Media. Uh, check me out on uh, TikTok and Instagram where I hunt down the. The Funkos I desire by by any means necessary. Um, I feel like we touched on something earlier. We should start 
like a movie line ASMR situation, I feel like that can take down the NPC thing. I feel like, you know, if we start with like a, a good Wesley Snipes, like some motherfuckers always trying to ice skate a bill. Hey, yo, that's my <laughs> like, everyday line. I, I feel swear like to we're God. on to something. <laughs> That is my everyday line. And people are like, why do you say that? I say, because it works for everything. That's why. Yeah. Rock a pie, motherfucker. Rock a pie. <laughs> <laughs> they say that doesn't work. I'm like, try it. <laughs> it does. I am. Um, yes, Don't be a little I'm bitch. a writer for purefandom.com where I do trailer reviews. I'm a writer for blursoutview.org where I talk about action movies because that is where I cut my teeth, my bread and butter. Um, Cause oh, check out my YouTube, where I might just be completely overhauling uh, Secret Invasion because we we're that, gonna talk about that Thursday too. Like, yeah, I'm yeah, I, mine is better. I promise. Um, <laughs> but outside of that, uh, I, I'll always stress I'm I'm a big advocate of mental health. So always, always, always remember that your your mental health is important. So. Take your meds and take that PTO like me right now. Um, and whatever else you do in this world, lean into learning, lean into laughter, lean into love, and we'll make this thing a better place. Mm -hmm. Aliens included. Alien, aliens included. <laughs> Follow the alien, tell, tell the aliens thanks for delaying everything this weekend. Hi. Um, RTV officially on all socials. Crip of the uh, keyboard, Crip of the comment section. Boots on the ground person. <laughs> builder of the straw head crew. Bridge builder of every con you've ever gone to see me at. I'm really just trying to make sure we have everything together and that everybody gets their flowers. Usually not expecting to get my own. Thank you, Kira, for capturing it what I do. Because I'm still not used to it. Get used to it. There's going to be more. They were calling my name all weekend as a joke and like making a scene. So then when some people would actually do it, I was like, nope, that's them again. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I'm, I'm like, are you sure it's me? <laughs> but yeah, I'm out here just trying to make sure we all just just trying to put the last little chain link to the fence together. So I'm I'm, I'm building a team. But Giggity. you can catch me on pretty much every social media ever under the same name. I usually post on Mondays because Mondays suck, so I try to make them suck less. Um, <laughs> I've either exhausted all of my power or I'm just tapping in after this weekend. I'm still figuring that part out. Look, I, let me say something real quick. We were in our group chat and they were like, why is Tafari crawl quiet? Like, we haven't heard anything. It was like, <laughs> like Metal or say he's probably in a coma. Literally five minutes later, man, what? everything was asleep except for my legs. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just sent like the Goliath meme from Gargoyles. I live again. <laughs> <laughs> my lower half. <laughs> But yeah, I think that's one of the things everybody needs to go to and experience a black con because I feel like as a people, there's a energy you can't physically put into words that you feel once you step in. And I think that's part of why I feel so drained after Blurred Con and Dream Con because that energy is just stuck with you for 72 hours. And then you get in your bed and it hits you like a Mack truck. Mm. <laughs> Like I like mm. I didn't realize all three. Like you guys, Kira, I was running around trying to make sure like this squad of like fifteen people we had met everybody, all of our mutuals, made it to everyone's booth, and then we get to like the end of the night. I'm like, right, I didn't eat anything today. That's why I'm falling asleep. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah it, it literally. It, that's, Which that's I how it thoroughly time. screamed at you about because he, I know that he did not eat all day because I didn't eat all day. <laughs> Look, we were at BlurCon and I was just like, I, I Kira was like. Boy, if you don't eat something, I'm like, yes, ma'am. That was just mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, not only is she the weapon I'm master. Sorry. Of okay, Safari, I'm telling you, you go to DreamCon next year, you better call me and, and bring me along because I'll keep you straight. Don't worry about that's, nothing. That's what that's what she was for, lightsaber <laughs> hand and all. <laughs> well, you need Safari, another person because I tell you, but she get distracted, I won't. You can you can you can fill in her at Dragon Con because I will go off Red Bull and rage for seventy two hours. <laughs> he and he's not lying. He's, I believe I it. Literally, that is heart attack mode. That's right. right. That's, that's Red, Red Bull and seventy two hours. I'm gonna need him together for the Black Geeks photo shoot on Sunday because I don't need you. I don't need you effing around. Okay. I need you. But yeah, I, I just be trying to bring everybody together. Like I didn't expect to be up here with y'all. I was just again saying stupid shit and then leaving because it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> But then, you know, to bring 
Kira to meet my friend Ozzy over in New York. And now we're all together in Texas. And then Ozzy gets to meet my man, Cloudy, who I met for the first time. And then Cloudy gets to meet Cleo. And every, Carl gets to meet everybody. And Carl was not expecting the love. To, what, what he didn't real what, what I had to break down him is like, hey, I'm 28. We are, we were 10 when you first did that show. We are the kids you impacted, giving you back the energy. Like that dude was telling you he's a videographer. This guy was inspired to do animation. These people were all basking in the thugnificence over a decade ago, and now it's flourishing. I said mm-hmm. it. I said it. I was like, I I was reading Boondocks in the Source magazine. So mm-hmm. when the anime showed up, when the anime showed up, I'm like, it was no question. And I, it was then I became a Carl Jones fan. I'm like, yo, this shit's funny. Uh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm currently editing his interview, and I'm so glad we did our homework because Kira had one question at the end, which I'm glad I do my deep dive on comedy, which he was not ready for it because he kept getting boondocks questions, especially booty warrior questions all weekend. Mm-hmm. But there's a it's kind of hard not to because 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 he's out of prison. Right. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> he's he's kind of like the hot button topic right now. It's been hit on so much. There, there's a joke that predates every all of those that no one seems to know about. And when you drop, you're going to laugh when you realize what it is. So Kira managed to catch him and love off guard. Um, That's the beauty of it. I made him yeah. laugh. I made him laugh. It was the embrace <laughs> for me. But yeah, it, it was just like had, it, had our friend kept talking for like thirty more seconds, he was definitely going to cry. Yeah, so just, I, was, I think it's it's safe to say, bringing Tafari and on this on the squad, you know, and he's, I've never even had to ask him to do stuff. He's checking into me like, did you get that edited? And I'm like, yeah, I did. <laughs> I thought it was me and Kira that was locked in. Oh wait, like, wait a minute. <laughs> I just I see the vi- I just try to get a different perspective. Like even when we were finishing the panel and I saw the dude peeking it. First of all, I saw Nick's drunk ass just like <laughs> you know what it was? You know what it was? Y'all were so focused. I watched him do it. I watched him like hit it, look at it, then the lights go out and he just looks at it. Like, he just like I can see him like his brain is trying to like figure out what do I hit. And then he just left. <laughs> like he thought about trying to, he thought about trying to oh fix it. And his brain was yeah. like, nope. He just slid out the back. I'm not going to touch anything else. I'm better not touch anything else. Nobody <laughs> saw it but me. But I was in the corner dying. <laughs> you, you should have definitely got that on film. I tried to. I tried to. I was so. If he you did have it not, so quick. If you I was just amazed. Seen. I'm like, is he gone? I'm like, nope, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> if you have not seen the panel episode, it's on the YouTube channel. Check it out. It's 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 a vibe. The whole thing's a vibe. Yeah. Uh, it, it's not the last you're gonna see us. That's for sure. Um, there was but something. Yeah. Oh, you had something to. Uh, a tease yeah. To so write. for some reason, even though I've never met these people, like I know I get retweets on Twitter a lot. That does not validate anything. Sometimes, <laughs> at least for Korea, it doesn't. The oatmeal had to be the finisher on that one. Um, but as far as everyone else, I don't know if it's just the uniqueness of my name or the people I'm around, but for some reason I talk and people listen. Um, but met Cleo Thomas last year, was willing to take a chance on a friend of mine. Guess he remembered all that this year because he kept running into people I know and sweeten the deal with the Pokemon cards. But he was willing to do me one last favor if y'all want to pull that up. Uh, yeah, hold on. The uh, uh, let me pull you out and come back in here. Yeah. Over here and then put that over. Yeah. The one from yeah. I, the one I showed earlier. <laughs> and, uh, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it was after this. Okay, the, that one I didn't grab that one yet. I didn't not, grab that one. Uh, oh. okay. That one I didn't have. Some, yeah, and put it over yeah. on yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, yeah. Lay, lay out a yeah. Of, yeah. 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 Make sure you get over all yeah. yeah, and don't forget over and yeah. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, that one I didn't have. That one I didn't have. So all right. So if that we don't have it, you can just put it up as a short after this for anybody yeah, watching. Yeah. But he was he said he's what he heard Cree's name and was just like, I'm in. And again, heard Carl was coming back, didn't realize he was right behind me the whole time because I hate name dropping. But because yeah. he, he was, was like he was, was I remember, he was saying, Yeah, I do I gotta dig that one. We've we've gotten so much footage. That, I'm I'm sitting on I, my hard drives are tired. 
Like my phone, <laughs> literally, my phone is literally like, dude, slow down. Like you got a lot left, but just yo. And I'm like, hey, we got to work, man. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Cleo Thomas coming up soon. Uh, he's down uh, once again, man. Other people. Um, yeah, it's it's a thing that's happening. It's a thing that's happening. Let me put myself up here. Thank thank you, Tafari, for lining that up and yeah, knocking that down. He, Tafari has become our our talent handler, our our media handler, just the handler. Your handle handler. handler. Oh yeah. Speaking of black cons, um, <laughs> just remember. Every stupid ass tweet is just a failed Facebook status. So if you're really that upset, <laughs> think about it. Let, let that simmer. Think about it. Um, wow. If you, are really, uh, if you are really that upset about something, tell <laughs> someone who works there. Talk to the staff. Fill out a goddamn feedback card. Quit, cli- quit crying on the clock app for rage clicks. Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> He's God not wrong. damn. He's so, not wrong. It's, it's, it's funny because the comment sections did come for the sister. T- <laughs> just like, well, that did not go as well as she did. You ever see the meme where it's just like, oh, they're going to drag you? Respectfully, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like, you, you, you did not not open the you did not open the gate of hell and not realize what was coming for you. <laughs> like, you, you didn't read the room, did you? Sorry, That's sweetie. Drag me to hell I, get it. I get it if you're like, this was your first trip ever, but should have been there. The, Should have got in when it was six thousand. We are three and a half times that with a lot more. There was a lot more contractual obligations this time around. Yeah, and that's really what killed most of the personal feeling because even the people it's, who were featured, they didn't get to go through Artist Alley. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's it's bigger. It's what it happens. Mm-hmm. It's it's the nature of the beast, you know. And, so, and then the aliens shut down the sky for a day and a half. So. <laughs> Am I curious as to what's happening? Yeah, but do I care not to y'all drop these gas and food prices? Yeah, I mean, I don't and housing prices too. Shit. That shit. Look, that look, look here. Price. How about pricing prices? Yeah, pricing prices. Pricing prices. How about pricing yeah, prices? Yeah, price yeah, price price. Raise my pay. How about that? Yeah, yeah. just because Fat Joe said today's prices is not <laughs> yesterday's prices, that that don't mean raise Everybody. the price for everything. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, my uh, gas is gonna stay that high. Storm it again, Lord. <laughs> God damn. The so this is God the season damn. premiere of season eleven. Uh, it's only right up from here, here gentlemen. It's, only, it's always nothing but nothing but it, as as Lady Mandalore, so illust- illustrious guests and and tomfoolery and stuff in that whatever. Uh, <laughs> the fuckery like, is a foot. Right, the fuckery is definitely a foot. Uh, if this is your first time here. Go check us out uh, on IG. Yeah. Yeah. Check us out on IG. You go to Blurred's Eye View. Ooh. You go find the link tree in the bio right there. And you can find us on Facebook. And you can find us on Twitch. But you can definitely show your love by going to YouTube and go to this and sub, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And you'll get to see content that's only going to be on YouTube. And pretty soon, merch is going to come down the pipe. And pretty soon, a paywall because we're working <laughs> on a couple things that we can't air live. <laughs> and I ain't talking about staking cocaine. And it ain't or only brownies. Yes. Or brownies. Or brownies. And it ain't, and it ain't yeah. only things, you dirty bastards. We gotta uh, have them brownies. And the I like the blondie brownies too. Yeah, <laughs> gotta get the blondies. The verb say tomfoolery. All right, one hundred year old fury. Hey, hey. <laughs> you know, all, them, all that malarkey and all that stuff. <laughs> so, uh, but man, it's been great. Uh, it's been a great ride. Uh, just having just having this to be the season premiere and have these great stories to tell and have these great creatives that that apparently are paying attention to us and we because we're supporting them it's just what we were looking for and like lady Mandalore said it's only up from here like we're not here to, <laughs> we're here to stop no trains <laughs> not, I'm trying to try. oh my god the chat okay no <laughs> the chat oh my god oh lord nothing happening Oh, nothing, boy. nothing to see here. Oh, boy. The, 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 the thingy, the thingy, the thingy. Uh, anyway, 
Blah, blah, I'm yeah, sorry. I am you serious. You talk about trains and everything, too. Yeah, I'm you so sorry. Do a you spell a line. Line. That's called Things and trains. Oh, things Lord. And trains. Uh, I want to thank this crew, man. Um, this is this <laughs> probably one of the best crews I've had, and we are definitely in tune with everything that we're doing and how we're just pushing this thing and rocking this thing out. And I thank y'all for being on this crew. I don't have a straw hat to wear to, to give y'all the, the the bow or anything. Oh, uh, <laughs> there you go. There. Get the glasses. There you go. Just there the you go. There you go. Uh, you but to, you want me to ghetto premiere this right now, or just what they can wait till later? Wait, till, they'll wait till later. Uh, I'm, 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 oh, do the ghetto premiere. The channel, you cheap do, the <laughs> do the ghetto premiere. Come on, man. That's on brand. I gotta I gotta, I gotta send it through, and it's too much work. It takes forever. Oh, okay. Yeah, she means All like right. play it on the screen. On the oh. <laughs> like, ghetto uh, mirror. Oh. Yeah, the ghetto mirror. Yeah, Let, right. let's, see, have... let's see how bad the audio is. I've tried to clean what? it up. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, watch on the channel. That's the ghetto premiere. Uh, <laughs> ghetto mirror, ghetto mirror, the, the, the ghetto mirror, the ghetto mirror. Right. Until then, I everybody, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I want to thank newcomers for coming on and checking us out. Uh, remember to educate yourself and others, entertain yourself and others, and encourage yourself and others. It's what we do here. This is what we're all about. I'm Chris mm -hmm. Fury. This is the crew. You know how we do. <laughs> that was not meant to rhyme, but I why it happens from time to time. Uh, uh, double, double rhyme, double rhyme. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and tune in. Tune in Thursday. We are going to be talking about well, Disney Plus shows. What's happening with the MCU and, and why are they being listed so low? But oh, we'll discuss all that stuff later. And uh, amongst the other stuff, and you know what? I couldn't do this without really saying this. Rest in peace to Paul Rubens, aka Pee Wee Herman. Mm -hmm. uh, he died at 70 years old. Yeah. Uh, he, was, he had a quiet bout with uh cancer, so fuck cancer. Um, he brought a lot of funny stuff to our lives, and a lot of people that people don't know, Cowboy was it Cowboy? Uh, uh was done by Lawrence Fairy and yeah. uh, Phil Lamar as well. So mm -hmm. Mecca, lecca, hi, mecca, hi, oh I knew God. God. And Phil Harmon. Phil Harmon was on there at one point. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, shout out, you know, to, you know, rest in peace to Paul Rubens. He was also the father of the Penguin on Batman Returns, and he actually reprised that role on Gotham. So. That's right. Damn. Mm. Shout out to people like that. Uh, we, we're, we're losing greats every day. And uh, it, it, there are people that's been a part of our lives in, in fandom and in, in all aspects of life. So uh, always checking your loved ones, as Cinematic Assassin has said, take that time off. Take your meds if you need to. Uh, find your tribe. And until then, we will see you guys Thursday.